a waste of time. Um, that's not great. Um, I just had a question about the uh, uh, level generator. Yep. Um, basically, just trying to extend it so that we can spawn like, like just random decorational elements uh, on tiles for like hints, anti-time traps, and stuff like that. No. Uh, yep. Uh, where in the code should that go in order for it to like work properly? Because I'm seeing a few places and I'm like, I don't know where this goes. Well, it's a little bit tough because you want it to persist. And so, but do you want it to despawn for each chunk? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, yeah, like that's not that easy to do because obviously like the level spawner only handles tiles um and it does yeah. so by reusing uh you know existing kind of entities it doesn't instantiate and destroy and whatever um, so slapping this in um like you'd basically have to it's <coughs> i guess i would do it in and it depends like i, I guess you would want to generate these positions based on a certain noise value um and I don't know, like, I mean, set tile, like, if you look at the set tile function inside the level generator, like, set tile, oh, sorry, set chunk. Set chunk, yeah. So that gets called every time you go to a different chunk boundary. Um, and okay. it, it's responsible for basically resetting that entire 3x3 three three chunk system to something else. And you can see there's a branch that, uh, that <coughs> checks to see if it's not null, and that's the cached version. And then the, the one below it is the I'm creating this chunk for the first time version. Obviously based okay. on existing noise data. But the point is you could put it like somewhere, I guess, in one of those. But like, yeah. again, like that's, that's, I don't think that's going to be trivial. Because you want it to persist, so you need to generate it. I mean, I could probably put it in. Uh, I mean, honestly, like if, if it doesn't persist, I don't think it's strictly the worst thing because I'm, I'm if it'll be in it different like, like, yeah like I, i'm fine with it not like persisting per se yeah well then it, all you have to really do is you see where it like for example there's um well yeah like where the place the, at the very end of the function there's place general tent um so that's yeah. where it does the placing uh because it's not going to be in the first few chunks that are generated so you can yeah. basically do it like um, after that. You could have like, a, you know, somewhere in there it can decide to place. Um, yeah. And you, but the thing is, you need to to check the uh, location of it, like as in to check the like where you can place it. Um, yeah. You need to use, <coughs> I think. Get tile. Yeah, get tile, but. I'm trying to figure out the actual coordinate of it. Uh, well, CX is the parameter that's passed in CX. That's basically the, the chunk index as far as world space goes. So in other words, it goes negative and stuff. So you could probably just multiply that by like 16. So I'll just like, let me share my screen and I'll just roughly show you what I'm thinking. But try, try something like this, like, um, like it, it's probably like CX times the chunk. I don't know if this will exactly work, but chunk size and then plus basically. Uh, so that can be like your min bound for randomness. Um, and then max would be, uh, you know, min plus um, the chunk, the tile width basically. Uh, and the tile width is in tiles. No, wait, that's no, that's the width of each tile. And we, we have the chunk size is 16. So basically, you know, plus 16 tiles. Yeah. Um, and that would be... Why is that bad? Oh, the Visual Studio is just as tight as I am. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. So you could do something like that. You could generate between those two positions. And then that would be maybe your X. And then the Z would be tile height instead of width. But okay. somewhere, somewhere, if you generate a random number between these two, <coughs> yeah. 
then I think that should be an appropriate spot. And then you can pass that into get tile to figure out what tile is underneath that. Yeah. Um, so like, I don't know. Anyway, you get the point, I think, hopefully. It'd be like min plus vector three. Uh, sorry, Hazel random. Vec3 times max minus min or whatever. Yeah. And then you pass that in here. Okay. Cool. Um, that should work. I don't know why it's not working. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I flipped uh, it. I flipped it. Now it should work. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> it's just Visual Studio having a problem. I'll paste that code for you. Yeah. Um, and obviously, I can, you know, just uh, effectively just generate that pulse randomly x number of times um, to get, you know, a certain number of objects in a chunk. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. But of course it's random and it's not going to be a guaranteed distance away from things. And like, I mean, yeah. between you and me, like the get tile function, like I still am not 100% convinced that it's right. It seems to be though, because I had, I had it highlight the tile that was under the player and it was like, it wasn't like 100% accurate, but it was like within like a few centimeters or whatever. So yeah. it seems to work. And the idea is I think because you guys... Like, because the origin of the hexagon is, like, up here at the top, it should, mm. that Y value should, in fact, be, you know, the height. It's just that, obviously, you'll have to um, make sure if the sandbags, I don't know where their origin is. But, uh, yeah. but it's weird because, like, again, what I do is I literally, when I spawn enemies, I take this, like, I take the tiles Y, and then I add you know, a meter or two to it to get the enemy to be up here, and yet sometimes they still fall through the world. So I'm not 100% sure if that's because this is wrong and it's spawning in here and it going down or whatever, or if um, maybe they're just like, you know, laterally off and they're spawning in a, in a place that has the, the chunk hasn't generated yet. I don't know, there's, there's lots of problems and I'd like to rewrite this whole game to be completely honest. But, yeah. but how are we in terms of, so I think there's some kind of main menu is there. Yep, there is, and like it's, it's working just fine. Um, like you can play through it. Um, if you, if you get shot enough to where your um, profit level goes to zero, you lose the cup, and you have to go back and pick up another one. Um, yep. If you deliver the coffee, currently it just fades to black and then goes to the main menu. We kind of were talking about okay, well, we should probably have maybe one or two voice lines there, like the general is basically saying like good work or whatever, to make it slightly more interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if we necessarily had time for that. Maybe we could add that like afterwards as just a little detail. Yeah. Um. So basically, as far as I see it, my plan like is the tutorial, right? That hasn't been done. Uh, yeah, exactly. Audio or tutorial? Well, both. Audio and tutorial. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's basically four hours left, so that's a long time. Like, I should be able to... Assuming audio actually works, like, engine side, and there's no... I don't run into major issues, like, it should be f easy to get both I of those know. done. Any physics... Any system we've been touching the yeah. month has been riddled with problems. Renderer, physics... Audio has had a big... Renderer hasn't really had any problems. A lot. Renderer, uh, like, building asset packs has crashed multiple times because of renderer. That hasn't happened in are, are you sure it's an actual crash, not just an asset? Uh, yeah, it's a crash because it crashes on, uh, like, one of the right descriptor sets. How is that possible? Okay. I've been building asset packs this whole jam, and I haven't had a single crash. And not only that, uh, I've also gotten several uh, device lost errors while building the asset pack. Uh, I, I get those. Yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. It's just the asset pack... The reason that happens is because there's like a, it's the queue, it's the it's the queue submission I think, 
Well, at least that's what it is for me. They just asserts though. But I don't understand because I, I, I swear, like I have not had a single crash when building asset packs. And I've been building, obviously I built them a lot because I was fixing the runtime. So it's very yeah. bizarre, but I'll be doing the build anyway. So that's lucky. Yeah. And I have gotten what, some what device lost errors. The yeah, the audio, yeah. Audio is be your body. Well, I'm, that's why I'm saying that like, Assuming that goes well, I should have enough time. But if it doesn't, then yeah. But what are you going to start with? Yeah. Uh, what am I going to start with? The tutorial. Because that's more important than the audio, I think. Really? Do you think so? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? How is someone going to play the game if they've spawned in and they have no idea what to do? There's a control section in the main menu. They can find out the control. We didn't... We shouldn't... You guys shouldn't have made this main menu. Like, this is exactly what happened with Forest. Like... The main, you don't need a main menu. You basically just spawn in and you start the game and that's it. Like, why why have a main menu that explains everything? Well, Especially if there's going to be a tutorial. I think it's literally more important for the game to have audio than it is to have a nice tutorial. Because at the end of the game, they can find out how to play. But the thing is, this is, at the end of the day, it's a game jam. And I think that, like... You need to have a way, like someone. It's it's you're essentially making a prototype of a game, and so if you di if you jump in, like I think people can forgive, like oh yeah, they haven't managed to do audio. But again, it's not like I'm gonna have time for no audio. Like it takes two seconds to slap in a sound effect, and you're allowed to fix bugs post launch. So as long as I make the sound effect, it doesn't even matter if it works or not. Like I can still I can just fix the audio engine during like the rest of today because it's seven a.m. But the, uh, if there's no tutorial content, then obviously like, it's like you jump in, player doesn't know what to do, they're like, whatever, next game. But I don't think they'll be like, oh, this game has no audio, yeah, let me just move on. Like, it's a, I think that's, it's really important to have like, an experience. Like, when you jump in, it guides you through like, this is what you have to do. Because people aren't going to have the patience to play, to play games, you know? And to actually be like, all right, let me go back to the main menu, read the controls again. How do I get back? Oh, I have to restart the whole game. Like, oh, where's the text that file that explains? Like, where's the where's the game submission page that explains what the controls are? Like, nah, you gotta have everything in the game. Anyway, um, but that being said, again, there should be enough time. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally grab the ambience from Dichotomy. Uh, because we have ambience and dichotomy and I'm just going to chuck that in and that'll be my test for seeing if it works or not. Okay, so that should be everything, hopefully. All right, Peter. Um, so I guess I'll just go and start doing all of this. Yep, I'll just get like the decorations <coughs> semi working, well, mostly working, and then I'll uh, push that and just focus me on bug fixing and play testing some more. Yep. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Alright, see ya. Yeah. Okay. Um I might just gotta put some headphones on. All right, um, so let's take a look at, wow, this is a bit peaky, this microphone. Oh, and now it's like really quiet. I'm t this like last level of gain here is so precise, it sucks. All right, anyway, yeah, like look, I'm peaking now, but then if I make it this much quieter, it's now, I, it's like not. The heck, man. All right, whatever. Yeah, this kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> should I use a different mic? I don't know. 
we'll see. Alright, so, yeah, this sucks. Have I been, like, this distorted this whole jam? That's so strange that, like, no, well, that's fine, I think. This should be okay, hopefully. Ugh, anyway, no time for that. Um, uh, if we look at dichotomy, um, dichotomy has some um, audio, I believe. We can steal. Uh, it's got this city ambience thing, which isn't even mine. It's like some royalty-free ambience or whatever. I don't even know where it's from, to be honest. I'm going to pretend to not know. Uh, let's make a folder called audio. Source. Paste it in here. Alright, so if we go into... Oh, I should probably... Yeah, let's build the scripts and stuff. Did Peter add any new files? Uh, maybe he did, I don't know. Should probably uh, regenerate the project. Do this. Build this. Yeah, I guess it did. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, good. Oh, there's a compass. That's cool. Why is the... Oh, no. Is that the, is that the if the controller is connected, it sometimes glitches out. That's all right, though. All right. Is it not F to pick up? Oh, it's E now. Why'd you guys change it from F to E? Tim. Right. I mean, F's used a lot, though. Maybe it should just be both. Like, who cares, right? F is F used for anything? Okay, make it both. The easier it is, the better. Um, alright. So, the enemies spawn. I guess I'll try and deliver the coffee. Yep, they're over there. Oh, are they? Oh, cool. There's a texture for them. Oh, they look sick. I like the enemies, Tim. Yeah, they look nice. <laughs> they look funny, though. Alright, well, I'm ignoring these weirdos. <coughs> oh, man, they're shooting me pretty well, though. There needs to be, like, I don't think there's, unless Peter's added it, I don't think there's the concept of accuracy at all for shooting, and there really needs to be, because otherwise they just raycast you directly. Wait, where's the general? I don't, my gun's out of ammo. And there's no melee or jumping on enemies, is there? Oh, there's a general. Can I give him coffee? No, I guess. Let me ask Peter quickly. Alright, so now let's uh, pop the music on pause for the actual stream, um, and let's see, uh, let's, oh, I should have, whatever, um, let's see if we can get audio working in the engine. So, audio, basically we have to make a sound config, we'll call this ambience, we'll pick our uh, thing. Okay, that's playing. Right? Yes, that's definitely playing. It's actually, this is probably the worst effect, but whatever, because it's so hard to hear. Um, like, it's quiet, it's ambience. <laughs> um, we can show, we'll send it a bit to the reverb, make it a bit smoother. I'll turn it up, you guys should be able to hear that. It's probably loud. How do, how do people do live streams? Like, am I just a bad streamer? Like, how do people do... Because the worst thing about this is it's, like, impossible for me to hear what the stream hears. I would like to hear what the stream hears. Like, that would kind of be ideal, to be honest. I don't see why I would want to hear anything else. Like, and I know I can monitor the inputs, but is I don't know if that's, like, post pre- or post-fader, like, inside the audio mixer and 
Hazel like it's so on. It's weird. Anyway, whatever. I'm not going to sort this out now. But, like, how do people stream? Like, surely they have that there. Because I guess if I was trying to stream, I'd want to hear the, the audio. Like, why would I want to hear audio that isn't what the stream is? So I guess that way I would just want to hear the stream output audio. Because I like, because uh, with my audio interface, I'm just mixing a little bit of my mic into my ears so that I can actually hear myself. Because otherwise, because I'm wearing headphones. Um, uh, and it's kind of nice, like, having the the mix for the audio. Um, but whatever. All right, so we have the sound config. So basically, we have to open up the audio events editor, make, like, uh, um, sure, an event called ambience, add an action, We'll make a play action for it. Um, the asset's going to be the sound config. And I think that's kind of all we have to do, right? If we save that, I don't think we have to save it, but, um, or maybe we do, maybe we have to save the project. I don't remember how it works. But if I now just go to, like, I don't know, the camera or the player. Now let's go to the camera. We'll add the ambience. Or even the level generator can have ambience because that's like the level. So if I, well, first of all, no, the camera. The camera has to have an audio listener. So we're gonna add an audio listener um, uh, because we probably don't have it anywhere else. <coughs> and then we will add to the level generator, let's add um, audio and then the start event. And this is like, you have to type it in manually, which is a bit lame, but ambience. And then I can do play on awake. Oh, and then in the sound config, we can make sure this is looping. And that, I think, is it. Like, if I just hit play, I hear the audio, which is fantastic. So, yeah, the audio does, the audio works, Tim. Build sound bank. Now, I, actually, that's not the full story, because let's um, also build the shader pack. Let's actually test it out in the runtime now, because that's important. So, if I build the asset pack, which Peter says crashes, see, it, it asserts, and but the assert is a harmless, like, threading error in Vulkan, which, again, it shouldn't happen, but... You know, it's fine. Yeah, and here's another one. And it's only breaking because I got a breakpoint on it. Uh, and that's it. So I don't have any issues building at all. But good to know that there are problems. Um, <laughs> more, more to fix post-launch. Okay, so that's all built now. So if I run the runtime, hopefully this works. Yeah, it works. I can hear, you guys can hear that ambience, right? I mean, it's city ambience. But I guess if I mix, I kind of like it though, and it's easy. I guess if I mix that maybe with some like, you know, f like gunfire. Um, There's freesound.org. Is that a real thing? Like, is that good? I'm going to probably make some of my own effects, but I just feel like... Gunfire or whatever. I just feel like, um... War. War noises. Um, let me make this quiet. That's, like, perfect. Oh, yeah, I like that. Scraping fabric. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's slowed down. That's why it's like it's pitched down as well. Well, that sounds great. Um, I guess I'll just 
download this. Steals these. I need to log in. Do I have an account? I feel like it's been decades. <laughs> Well, the churno is taken, so that there's a high probability that I'm the one who took it. Ah, oh, I just logged in and just guessed the password and the username. All right, that's nice. So what was the license? Which, uh, just attribution. All right, that works. Um. Okay, so let's go into here. Audio source. That's pasting in. <coughs> All right, Tim. <laughs> to make you happy, I have ambience and gunfire already in. That took two seconds, luckily. So, let's audio. So we make that looping. We'll see about the the multiplier. I'll add some reverb. I always add some reverb. Uh, yeah, and I think all we can do is we can go to the audio event and add another action. So basically it plays both of those sounds. Um, and that should be it. Yeah, I can hear that. That sounds pretty dope. Well, the, the gunfire, I only really heard it at the beginning. But I guess it does kind of taper off a bit. Like, if we look at the waveform. No, but it tapers off like, you know, 45 seconds in. Whatever. Um, let's keep it. All right, so that's done. So we have basically our ambient sound design. Um, what's next? Uh, yeah, footstep sounds. Okay, anyway, I just said I wouldn't do audio, though. I just wanted to make sure that I wouldn't go to do audio, and then turns out audio doesn't work. Um, so audio works, so that's great. Um, let's save this. Uh, I'll even add it, like, for Peter and co. Um... The sound bank <coughs> shouldn't be there. In fact, let me be good and quickly edit the git ignore. I am pretty glad I slept, to be honest. I feel pretty good. I feel almost like a normal day slash night. Um, all right, so files. Uh, asset pack. Um, Let's do Hazel. And HSB. Okay, uh, so what this means now is that we can return to doing basically the tutorial situation, which also involves uh, adding the ability to like do screen space kind of text into Hazel. Um, so at the moment we can't really do text. Um, and to do that, like I said, we, we can do text, but it has to be world space. And I want to just be able to do it in screen space. Um, and I think that should be fairly easy. I just want to look at, because obviously like we, we do actually do that in the runtime. Like is in the, of course the render is capable of that and stuff, but like, you know, when I hit control F3 in the runtime, you can see that we get all of this text that actually uses the same renderer that obviously the game does in terms of how it renders text and 2D graphics. Uh, and so we have all this kind of stuff, you know, 
that um, obviously is rendered in screen space. So I, my plan is just to kind of look up how I did that. Because there's on render 2D and then that sets the time. So let me see what it does. So there's a renderer 2D proj. So it uses a projection matrix uh, that I'm guessing is just like set based on bounds or something. Like where does this get set up? And I hate, I really should just restart Visual Studio because everything's an error apparently. Let me just quickly do that. I hate how Visual Studio eventually just descends into errors. Hopefully that actually fixes it. All right. So, um, yeah, so how does that work? Where does this get set up? Here it is. So it just, it's just an auto projection to the pixel width and height. Okay. That's fine. Although, is that fine? It means we have to get the viewport. We have to subtract from the viewport. I guess that's okay though, because then everything, everything is based on pixels. Usually that's how you do like 2D rendering on a screen like this. And then you have, because then you can actually be precise with your, so yeah, let me know. back yeah up again okay good thanks guys all right um I was saying um yeah so this kind of yeah so that's done 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 um this world trade space transforms not gonna be the, the thing the case anymore we still need to scale the text though but that should be okay um how do we do it in here so we obviously set a font size so we, again we need to look at the runtime layer and then look at how we do text or whatever. <coughs> so we do draw string. Um, and we just pass in a scale matrix, I guess, which has a translate. Oh, it's shadows. I want to add shadows. Like, because that might make text way more readable. We probably should do that. Yeah, I'll do that as well. Um, but anyway. Uh, so how do we... What do we do here? So it's, it's transform, which is... Yeah, to translate by that, and we can just take those in from the thing, and then we scale. So I guess we need to build up a transform matrix ourselves, which should be okay. Um, so we'll have this, and we'll have this. The scale, it can just use from the scale though. Well, actually, no, we can just use the transform that is provided, right? Like that should just work. So we won't worry about the world transform. Um, Cause that would be weird, I think. Uh, I mean, we could worry about it, but I don't really want to. Um, I think we just do the transform component. Get transform basically. Uh, everything else still stays the same, I think. Um, and then we can do this little uh, if shadow situation. Um, we can add a shadow offset, but do we have to do that before we do the... Because I don't know if we can do that after we do rotation and scale. Probably not. That's a bit annoying. Um, anyway, this probably should just work. Uh, we just need to make sure that we also do this... We basically need to just make sure, unfortunately, we have some duplicated code here. So let me just replace maybe the entire renderer 2D begin scene in all these areas with that. And that. And that, that should be good. Hopefully I didn't nuke stuff. All right, let's try this first. <coughs> There is still, a, technically there's still a problem with this though. Like, then it's not going to draw stuff on top. 
Um, but to do that, yeah, you'd basically need like a different renderer with a different pipeline, which is okay. Well, not really a different pipeline, you just need to do it on top, so you need to use a different pipeline. I might do something like that. How does that work actually here though, Doing it, drawing it on top? Um, like as in, do we specifically set something up here that is not... But I don't think we do, so how do we get it to be on top of everything? We just do external composite frame buffer. See, this can, this has the depth. This has the depth buffer as well, though. Maybe that's just the fact that we have it in. Ah, uh, we just. I think we can just make it negative, and if we make the Z negative, it works with the orthographic projection matrix, but not the other one. Maybe that's a good trick. Um. All right. Let me fix this. Yeah, I ruined everything here. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. So what did this used to be? This. So for the editor camera, I guess it's that. Is this editor? What is a render simulation? I think that's also this. Basically it's that. Okay, about three hours left. Feeling pretty decent about that, to be honest. I mean, there's gonna be some... Ah, uh, yeah, that's my bad, I think. Uh, I'm just assuming that that's there. Um, scene serializer. We need to check to see if this is here. I think we do need a different scene renderer, to be completely honest. We probably need a specialized screen space one, which is good anyway, I think, but it's because, um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, so we'll do scene, um, renderer. And I don't know, again, this might not. Might not stay this way, but for now it's definitely the best solution. I think. And I wanted to do this if it if it has screen space entities. Probably call this entities. Um, but let's do renderer. Yeah, so in this case we would have to set the target frame buffer. But the good thing is we can set it to a different one, which for example doesn't have a depth buffer. And that would be better. Uh, probably. But let's try this anyway for now. I guess, I mean, line width, probably not going to change, but 
because we can't render lines with the screen space renderer at the moment, as in we just aren't doing it. Um, okay. Is that good? I th is that good? Uh, it looks like it. It looks like it, yeah. Okay. Let's, um... <coughs> so, yeah, this block's definitely getting replaced everywhere. Um... So let's jump to the other areas. And then we need to also grab. Uh, that should be there. It's just this, I think, that's not right. Is that all I did? Why is this not a... Oh, because I didn't rename it. Um, so now if we just go to some text, basically the way I believe this should work is I can type in like, hello, and then you can see it's in world space by default, but if I check the screen space, it looks like it's gone, but it's just very, very small. So I think if I scale it up to like, I don't know, 50, 50, 50, yeah, there it is, see? Uh, and then I can use translation to move it in terms of pixels. So that does mean I do have to do a bit of my own math, but you can see that hello is just always now here. Now you can see though, it can be obstructed though, uh, but I believe you can easily fix that, or maybe not easily, but if I just move the Z, like if, I, if it's like minus really anything, I don't think it's possible to obstruct it. So maybe I'll just keep that behavior. And then you can see we have hello here, and it's like, that's it. It's always there, it doesn't matter. Um, it will it will move with this as well. But yeah, but you have to know the viewport size if you want to do. And I think you can also measure the string maybe in pixels, like the, the if you want to do layout stuff. Well, we don't have a layout system, so you do have to do that in, in C Sharp by yourself, but obviously you can do that now. So that's done basically, as you can see. Um, that seems to work. Um, Okay, I want to maybe quickly add the shadow, just because I think we'll need that. So, let's do, let's do that quickly. But yeah, you can see that was pretty quick to add. Uh, components. Um... Let's just do float shadow distance, maybe. I guess I can have a boolean for it. Drop shadow. <coughs> so I'll add two new parameters. Go to the serializer, might as well. Okay, 
we're done, I think. Uh, okay, so, yeah, so I don't know, man, like, that... I don't know if I can just translate that. Um, and what am I doing? I'm doing this shadow second, right? Yeah, okay, so let's just build it up again, I guess. Uh, let's just steal it from... The scene, uh, the runtime layer. Basically, it's supposed to do that. Um, so, shadow offset is the shadow distance. Shadow distance is just a bit not correct here. S the scale. The scale is a bit silly. Uh, translation. So that should be okay. I don't know if this is the, probably not the most optimal way to do it, but I don't want to think too hard right now. Scale. Scale is that. Because I am constructing a few matrices, which I could probably avoid. But whatever, it is what it is. Uh, oh, well, scale we have, actually. It's just in the transform component. I will use that one. That way it's a bit more. Uh, and basically, it is what we want. But we use this transform. Uh, okay, good. So, that's it, right? Um, so, let's basically add that in the other areas. Let's hit F5. Ah, uh, yes. Peter. Peter wants a call. Hopefully everything's okay. Let me stop the music. We will go on a call. Alright, what's up? Um, alright, I tweaked the Omega push. Oh. Um, I basically fixed the enemy gun rotation being incorrect. Um, okay. And I also changed the compass from a hold to a toggle with a cooldown system. Oh, okay. Because um, it, it's just, otherwise you just keep holding down the button and you just, there's no real, like, difficulty there. Um, however, uh, we need some way of indicating like that there is a cooldown, uh, and I'd rather not have like text. I think it could be cool if we had like some kind of this bus sound that gets played when you a sound. Oh, like when you can't use it. Oh, uh, like, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. So, uh, can you, is that gonna be easy for you? me to add, like, as in, have you set up the logic for that? I just need the sound, or? Uh, pretty much. Um, all, because, like, um, I guess I'm going to uh, flip the logic around a slightly bit, uh, a little bit, so that it's easier for you to just slap in the sound. Yep. Um, but I'll have that done in, like, five minutes. Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, cool. I'm probably not going to do the decorations, because I think it's, it's more important right now for us to just play test and get the game feeling yep. better in terms of like the gameplay. Yeah. So. Cool. Sure. Uh, I've added um, screen space text, by the way. All right. Nice. Uh, and even with a drop shadow. Ooh, fancy. So I'll, uh, I guess I'll be the one using it, um, so I won't bother explaining to you how it works. Um, yeah. But yeah, that should be good. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. Uh, Yep. Anything I'll else? I'll call you if there's anything else. So basically, like, to summarize, because I'm half asleep, uh, you, okay. just, you just need a sound effect, like, for the compass. Not, that's it. For indicating that you cannot use the compass right now. And that was the sole reason of your call, yeah? Yes. Okay, good. Like, I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything. 
Because I'm also programming while talking to you. All right. Cool. Yep. See ya. All right. Yep. All right. We're back. We are back. <sighs> no, no. Must have made a little typo somewhere. Yeah, it's called. I didn't rename this. I knew I missed it somewhere. Instead, I think. <coughs> Oh, shadow color. I didn't set that. Ugh. All right, let's quickly do that. We'll make it black by default with alpha. Kind of like this though. It's a good little thing. Uh, now, how do I? How does it? Let's maybe copy the color because that's probably going to do UI property color. It's a little bit different. Um, and also, by the way, if there is no drop shadow, like we shouldn't do this. We shouldn't show the UI. So I'll just hide the UI. All right, so shadow color. Yeah, and that's it, I think. And then now for the scene serializer. What is this music? We are all stardust left behind. <laughs> it's next level. <laughs> We are not all one. I hate it from. <laughs> uh, okay, so we need to use the um, the shadow color, please. How is the preprocessor the worst thing to happen to C++? How would you live without it? Just under three hours left feeling the pressure now. Nah, I think I'm too tired to feel the pressure. I'm pretty okay, to be honest. I'm looking for, you know what I'm looking forward to? Tim, are we gonna do our post London Dare Mexican burrito? We should do that. What? I'd have a solo burrito.
I forgot to set the Z for the shadow. It's going to be kind of clipping. Um, yeah, so the Z, it needs to be rendered after, I'm pretty sure, but the Z should be offset uh, by a little bit. And I think, what did I do in scene? What did I do in runtime layer? I guess I, I should save the scene so that I don't have to remake that hollow text every single time. Okay, done. Um, mm, it was offset by like 0 0.01, I think. So subtract 0 0.01. Okay. Oh, I have to do that everywhere. Whoops. Of course I do. Yes, we use Jolt instead of NVIDIA physics now. Well, technically I think we support both. Or well, at least partially. There's still an option though. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, but that's not, that's, yeah, it's different. Oh, that, maybe, yeah. Thanks, Super VR, for the super chat. Uh, Raylib, um, y yeah, I think so. Like, I, have you, I haven't really used it, I've just looked through it a little bit, and it seems okay. Where's my Shadow Man? That's weird. That just flat out doesn't render my shadow now. Why? Uh, it might be the... Well, actually, no, that kind of makes sense. Uh, I think it's because it's out of bounds. But look, why... Why is it still in front? Is this a different... No, it shouldn't be. Uh, I think it might be flipped compared to... That's weird though. I'm a little bit sussed about that. Because it's different in the runtime. For the runtime layer, but I don't know. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, that's difficult. What was the reason to use Jolt instead of PhysX? Uh, Peter could probably speak a lot to that, but basically it's a lot faster. Um, and it's also a lot... Why is my chat... Oh no, it's fine. I think my chat is not there because I didn't... Uh, I'm, I'm out of... But it's still not there. Yeah, what? Oh no, it is there. Oh, but it's getting clipped or something. What the heck, man? Yeah, I guess this is just in the completely different order, somehow. <laughs> it's like in reverse. Ugh, that's so weird. Does your engine actually have a GUI library for UI intensive games? Uh, not really. Like, we don't really have a UI library. Like, we can render UI elements, like sprites and text and all that stuff, but we don't have a, we don't quite have a layout system yet. Alright, well, there we go. There's your text with shadow. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you can make it more dramatic. You can change the color of the shadow. Um, yeah, cool. So, did we hire a professional designer to design this? I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Jay did that. He's uh, actually the audio guy for Hazel. Um, he just li really likes UI as well. So shout out to Jay for making the editor look like this. Um, but yeah, it's kind of based off of Unreal. But he's just spent a lot of time, you know, making shadows for elements and just yeah, doing a lot of stuff. All right, so I kind of wanted to do the tutorial text, I guess. Um, so how does the game like? Is that there's probably a main menu scene, right? So this is supposedly uh, this ta this font, man. 
Are we? How upset are we on this font, Tim? Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> well, well, look at it. Do you guys like this font? <laughs> it's World War One. Yeah, but it looks. It just looks really cheesy. Um, good thing I can redo this uh, text with screen space text now, though. Which means I can do it at a drop shadow. Maybe it'll look better. Um, should I do that in play mode? Maybe. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, one thing that's annoying about screen space text, though, is it will um, it will render in uh, like one thing that's bad is it will render all the time in the editor, and you won't be able to see past it. So that kind of sucks. Um, What? Ah, oh, okay, I won't do anything. I, I just kind of wanted to see how it works. No, not, no nice slurp. <laughs> no, it's gonna yeah, that, that should take two seconds anyway. Kind of like in dichotomy. Um, alright, how do I go back? Escape, okay. Play game. Okay, cool. All right, so should we have anything, um... Should we have... What's the, is that something else in the distance? No. Uh, should we have... Like, I'm just thinking about the tutorial. So, we jump in and it's like... Okay, so I guess we can... Let me just restart this, actually. What's annoying is we can't easily center the text. We'd have to kind of measure it. And then, you know, find the middle point. I mean, I don't know if that's worth adding. Uh, I guess I just won't. You know what? Yeah, let's just not center it. Let's just put it up, like... But this also is going to depend on the resolution you play it at, obviously. Because otherwise it'll just go off. So we need to get the... We'll have something that sets it up. Um, and let's uh, make it minus one, I guess. Okay. So you could maybe have your tutorials appear there. Why am I already getting shot though? This is bad. I don't want these guys to spawn immediately. <coughs> and like, I could, uh, so I want to reduce the, you know, alpha a bit. And then I was going to maybe, I don't know. Yeah, sprites are not screen space either. Because I was going to say, I could do a backdrop for it as well. We don't, can't even do rounded corners though, so I don't know if that's worth it. But basically, you know, if there was something that was kind of like behind it, you know, like this, for example. Maybe even nice to like show the pop-up like that, you know, and kind of be like, this is the thing, instead of just text, but I think we just don't do that.
I don't know if the shadow is good or not because it kind of just makes that look bad. All right, we won't have a shadow for now. Um. Okay. <coughs> So we can just, uh, well, because it's cre the whole creation order situation. Okay, we won't do this. Um, all right. So basically, get component, text component. Okay. So, we can just set the text to anything we want, um, but I'll probably, like... Do it, do it kind of a transition. Actually, why don't we just do, like, a text queue? seconds maybe be the default. Can you do things like this? Or oh, yeah you can. I thought maybe it was just for properties. Alright, so this is pretty simple. Um uh, we basically need a time Probably should be using a queue though, really, um, because we can pop from the front of it. Right. How do you? What's it? Q and C sharp. Oh, it's, I think it's fine. I just need to click. No. Uh, apparently, that should work. Might be um, the C sharp library or whatever. It's way that it doesn't have that though. Okay, whatever. We'll still use a list then. Not the best, but whatever. Okay, so we'll always get the first element. Um, Uh. 
This isn't quite uh, correct because we need to probably have a fade out, fade in, fade out. So. Uh, sorry, not text component time, text dot time. And then what are we doing? So, um, basically, I guess if we need to, sh yeah, but then we have to go back, don't we? We do this. Mm -hmm. We could have like an animation state, but I just don't know if that if I can get around with just not doing that. Yeah, so well first of all I'm gonna depend on this. So uh I guess I will, maybe. Um, I guess we can do this. Okay. Um, right, so what am I trying to do here? So as soon as this happens, yeah, we need to basically be like, hey, yo, fade direction uh, is going to be minus, right? We reset the current text time as well, and that's going to go back up, and yeah, we should probably set animation to true. I don't know if we really need that, but whatever. Could just use the, yeah whatever all right animation true uh we remo we've removed it um i don't know if we can i guess we can remove it though because it's not going to change this yet that's the whole point and so basically we can only if like if Ugh. but then when we reach i guess when we reach zero so if we're animating and opacity this sucks. I don't know. Like, I'm not... Again, I'm doing this stuff in the morning when I don't understand anything. Um, this is probably too complex now, but whatever. Uh, opacity less than, less than equal to zero. That means that... I guess we're ready to go to the next one, right? Yeah, we could just do that here, though, to be honest. So we trigger it here. We This basically is us going to next next in queue by removing this uh, and obviously this only happens if that, if that happens but we can change the fade direction to be positive I mean this kind of triggers it but
So the next frame, our passive will not be zero anymore, probably. Let's just make sure we clamp it, though. Uh, and then we're going to go back up. <coughs> Thanks, Power Kai, for the uh, super chat and the ha-ha-ha. I don't know if you're happy or not, <laughs> but thank you for the donation. Um, <coughs> so, what was I doing here? Yeah. So yeah, opacity is zero. Uh, we go, yeah, whatever. And now we're going to, if we have another one, if we don't, then it just kind of stays, I guess, at this. But animation will be true, so it actually will be animating, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, man, I don't know. This was going to be simple, and now I've just complicated it for some reason. Um, but no, I mean, it will be true if... It will still do this, and it, I guess it will be true if... So that's yeah going that way. Maybe this maybe this will work. I don't know. I doubt it, but we can try it out. Um, so if we go into like play like a root motion player or whatever, let's do. I want to do it in on, on create because I don't know if I can. Probably can't. Um, Should have done that though, because it should have set the text. So I don't really see why that didn't work. Uh, ah. Yeah, I had a feeling I did that. Okay, so there's test. It'll stay up for maybe five seconds and then maybe it'll go away or it will just stay forever. Ah, oh, no, it just. it That did work. It's just that it. It didn't stop incrementing the alpha. That's funny. It's... We should have clamped it to one. That's probably the only thing, really. Um... Yeah. 
Alright, so now basically the idea is with my little system is that if I go into here and I'm like, you know, let's just add lol another one. Let's do a two second one. I can just add a bunch of text to the queue, and maybe, if I'm lucky, it will work. But probably not. No, that seems to work. Oh, I can't believe that worked. Yeah, and you can set different times for it. Wow, okay, I'm actually really impressed that worked. I'm like surprised that impressed, but yeah. It's a long one. Should go about now. Yep. Sweet. Well, there you go. Now we can queue up text. Which is cool. Uh... All right. So, I don't know if it's necessarily going to be what we want to do because maybe like certain regions trigger text instead. But <coughs> I feel like it's nice to have something like that. Um, so if we go to like level, oh, sorry, not level player, regression player. What happened here? Nothing. Um, then yeah, I can be like, uh, you know, WSD to move, space to jump, uh, E to pick up, or maybe I should do, left click to shoot. Right click to aim. Maybe three seconds is enough. Because there's already 12 seconds worth of stuff. I don't know, on the other hand, we instead of showing this stuff, you know, we could We could basically just... I don't think, yeah, I don't think we should do that. I mean, WASD to move, like, we can probably show that in the main menu. And then instead, what I'd like to do is, instead of the controls, I think I'd like to be like... Uh, I feel like this should be... Oh, I'll probably change the font, but I feel like this should be... Uh, and also I can do a new line, I think. But uh, what I was going to say is I'd like to be able to set the size, I think. Um, so that's the time and then the, the font size, because it might differ. So it, I might want to have it at 30 for this and sometimes I might want it bigger. So if I just add that, um, that should be easy to do as well. Uh, font size, just make it 50 by default for no reason. But basically I should just be able to do, um, I just need the, the transform component basically. Oh no, I don't even, I don't even, I can just do translation. So let's do, you know, translation equals Oh, sorry, scale equals new vector three text dot font size, um, and so I should have smaller font. Yeah. Okay. Why does that? Where did I put the? Did I put the new line in the other one? What? There's no new line here. Uh, is that just because of the max width? So we can make the max width like you know a lot more. Yeah. Incoming radio transmission is probably too small. And then, yeah. So maybe 50 was, oh, cause it was a hundred by default. I thought it was 50 by default. Yeah. And maybe a color could be good. Like we could make that red. I'm setting everything to this.
but I believe the boys should be doing everything else. So I should be okay. I've got two, uh, two hours and 15 minutes, but I kind of have to do a bit of audio, but not too much. Like hopefully that'll be quick because I don't think I'm going to do any music. Would like to, but you know, no time. Uh, okay, so now we can set the color as well. So, like for example, I can make this one red, 0 0.9, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 or something, I don't know, and one. So this one's opaque. And see, this one will be white. So if that works, whoops, that's a compiler. Default parameter for color, something wrong with it. it must be compiled time constant, really. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. All right, well, whatever. That just means that we do it the old fashioned way, which is basically without parameters. But that does mean this has to be here. So what's this called? What was, um, the main scene was called, oh, that's weird. That doesn't usually happen. <laughs> oh, it happened again. Oh, that's just the wrong scene, I think. It's supposed to be called main menu. That's just a broken scene, maybe. Okay, that's good. Yeah, main menu. I don't know what main scene is. Uh, so, sh saving private Chino. So, I guess we're private Chino. Well, because it's about coffee. Yeah, because like, his name really is Private coffee, coffee, because he's the coffee guy. No, no, no. Well, so, what do you want to call it? No, no, that was just a word. Like, oh. Why Chino? Ah, uh, like as in... Well, sure, let's call him Private Chino. I don't really care. Private Chino. The reason why I'm asking is because I'm gonna... The radio transmission is gonna say that. I think I can just do um, at and then like write it out normally. Right, let me just make sure that actually works. Nice. Uh, the reason that's there is because carriage returns, I don't think, are used. Uh, we can make them work though quickly. I'm guessing that's why, at least. Let's just do that. That probably will work. Cappuccino. Oh, yeah. 
That's not bad. Saving Cappuccino. Cap and ch or saving Cap and saving Cappuccino. Yeah, the bus with like a pirate or whatever. That, yeah, that could work. Oh, what? How's that possible? Is it not a carriage return? Is it something else? Or is this just not the only drawstring function? It is. That's strange. Uh, let's see quickly. I don't know. I'm in release. Nah. Ah, oh, tabs. You're right. There are tabs there, aren't there? What's the character? Yeah, it's a, it's a tab. I'm glad that showed up in release. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. All right. So tabs. Uh, we can just avoid tabs, I guess. Like I didn't mean to put tabs in. Oops. What? Oh, well, what's that, then? There's still something at the end of it. That's a bit weird. I don't know what it could be. But it's okay, we don't have to guess. We can just put... No, oh, no. It's too late. I mean, obviously, we could just... Wait, what? What? Why did that not show up? I was gonna say, we could just like... You know, cut that out of release build, so we just skip the character if we don't see it. If we don't find it, that might just be quicker, but... It's just nice to know. Now, there was a question mark in the uh... Empty lines are fine. As long as they're just new line characters. Okay, so that that question mark then has to be something different. But the only time we put in a question mark is here, and I just took that out. What? Oh wait, it's down here as well actually. Oh, it's here. What's that? Oh, I think I know why. Okay, whatever. Yeah, the, the text is very messy, like the rendering for it. Because I'm pretty sure the first pass is metrics and the second pass is rendering, and that's why, maybe. Okay. make this one a bit smaller. I don't know if white is the best color as well, but whatever. Um,
Uh, this should stay up for like a good, I don't know, 10 seconds probably. Attention, Private Chino. Is this long enough to read it? The general has ordered a coffee and needs it's that. Press tab to open your compass. Use tab. I guess that's not enough time. Pick up the general's coffee order from coffee time. Really yesterday. I guess maybe like 20 seconds, 30 seconds. I don't know. Well, you could always have a press, a press blah blah, blah to dismiss button. So I could make it like, yeah. In fact, maybe we should have this be manually dismissed. Yeah, actually, why not just have a skip? If uh, m tutor uh, if input dot is key pressed, so what key you should skip? Enter, I guess. That's not used for anything, I think. And this will only fire once per press. So. So what would that do? That would basically, uh, I guess you could do, you could just set current text time to um, this basically, to, to text.time. So uh, if dot count greater than zero. Yeah, so now you can skip it. Um, So I'll make it last like a full minute then, because it's pretty arbitrary anyway, and if you press uh, enter on any message it will skip. Well, that's the font size, not the time. Skip that. <coughs> I guess the fade should maybe be uh, deliver re private. We're counting on you, okay. Is that just me or did that kind of start fading? <laughs> I think that was just me. Alpha is 2 5. Yeah, so I can press enter to close. Alright, cool. Uh, great. Um, is that cool? That's cool, I think. What was I gonna. Oh, delivery. I'm gonna capitalize that because it's the same. Yeah, I guess that's good. Uh, what was I gonna do though? Oh, the font. Um, to be honest, I might just use like, like there is um, the font that we use, for, like the, our mono-spaced font, which is like source, Code Pro or something. I could just use that. Yeah, I might use that and like bold or whatever. Let's see what it looks like with that. Oh, we could use that typewriter font as well, but I feel like this might look better. This is kind of nice, and then you guys press enter to close. <coughs> or we use this one, which just don't know if that, I guess that, no, no, no. I'm not that. What do you guys think for the message? Which font? 
I think I should be able to switch them live like this. Yeah, this one or this one. I, I don't know. This, this one's just a little hard to read. Maybe a different typewriter font would have been better, but... Like, I just feel like this is a bit cleaner. I don't know. Could be a different one entirely. So this is Source Code Pro, and this is Veteran Typewriter. This, I don't know. I just don't like this aesthetic. It looks kind of... cheap. The red text looks weird. Uh, I could tweak that. Like, as in, I could tweak the color a bit. It depends where you look, though, because it doesn't have a shadow. Uh, actually, with this, right? Yeah, maybe this would be a better color. So that's 255, 179, 0. So it's like 0. 0.6, 1.60. Um, like, let's set a reframe there. Uh, let's do 1.60 or something. So that's that color. Veteran needs a background to be more readable, yeah. Go with this one. That's definitely readable, I think. I don't know yet. I guess the name, like... Saving Cappuccino. I don't know. Well, but I'm addressing it as Private Chino here, but I can change that easily, but... It's just because it's... Uh, I like the Private because it's Saving Private Ryan. Like, that makes sense. And, and was there a reason why... No, there's no reason. Like, I can just do this, you know? Wait, but you spelled Chino with a CH? Oh, did I? I Maybe it should be a double C. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, maybe it should be that. No, that's weird, isn't it? All right, fine. It's we'll just do that. And maybe I can. It, he'll address it as Captain, and then here it'll be Captain, but here it'll be Captain Chino. But you can call the game Captain if you want. Well, no, I actually call the game Saving Captain Chino. Captain is like a little play on what play, cap play on whatever that happens there. I think. So let's. So general is order coffee. I'm gonna try and play. It needs a stat. I guess I'll capitalize that. Uh, <coughs> tab to open your compass. Okay, use it to navigate. So obviously red is up. So red is north. So it's telling me to go here. Apparently. Okay. Cool. Oh look, there's coffee. I noticed the coffee. Um. Uh, maybe when you enter here, it should suppress enter to close. Maybe when you enter here, it should push a new message to you, right? Um, that will tell you like, hey, you can pick up stuff. Um, also, like, so, so this trash text here, right, which is where, on the camera, so pick up prompt, I think, is what it is, right, yeah, pick up prompt, so let's make pick up prompt, uh, let's make it green space, um, We'll do a different text as well, but 80, uh, source code pro, uh, oh, we could actually play with the kerning, our oh, max width needs to be bigger though, 
Uh, it should probably say the key as well. Um, no, let's keep it zero. Uh, the color can be like a little either gray and maybe we want a shadow. That's not bad, I think. Uh, and obviously the layout though. Or the location. Uh, in a second. Okay, I'm just gonna, um, but I guess I'll try and copy this. Because it needs to be applied to here. Yep, that worked. And then I just need the translation. 100. 60 minus 1. 80, 80, 80. Oh, it stays at that apparently. That's good. Wait, why? Ah. Oh. What? Ah, oh, this is what it does. I mean, this should probably clear the text or something. Uh, in the onCreate function. It's probably too big. Give me one second, just fixing the pickup prompt. How much time do we have? Two hours, good. Uh, where's the pickup? Okay, so now if you go here. Okay, good. I'll send a little screenshot. <laughs> yeah, we're better this time. Alright, I'm gonna get on the call with Peter. I'm gonna do the call on, on uh, this computer, alright? So that stream can hear. I'll be considerate. Alright, uh, you can head over there if you wanna see it as well. What's that sound? Oh, it's the ambience. <laughs> it's the game sound. Uh, why can't I? Oh, alright. Alright, what's up? Alright, I fixed the enemies. The enemies? The enemies and the uh, players uh, shooting. Excellent. So, first of all, the player can actually aim relatively well now. It's still not perfect, but it's like you can actually shoot enemies that are slightly below you. Cool. So, like, I should. Well, mm, I don't know. It, like, it's still not perfect, like I said. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. We can tweak I, that after launch. Yeah. Like, I don't mind shipping this. Yeah. Because I, I played it a bit. But, um, if I go up here... And the water still does nothing as well. Yeah. <laughs> but if I just start walking up this hill now... Oh, and the stupid sparks that I added for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, on occasion, it's, it, again, not perfect here either. But they can actually jump up tiles now. The enemies? Like, that dude... That's yeah, good. That dude was down there. That's good. Right? Yeah. Excellent. I like it. Like it's and it's terrifying because sometimes you just see them coming over the hills. Yeah. Just gunning <laughs> for you. That's yeah. That's great. I love it. It's like I sometimes like the they still get stuck. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's nice. I, you know, we'll yeah, because it's the great that they have a red dot on them. Sorry to interrupt you, but it's great that yeah. they have a red dot on them because you can see them in the distance and it's great. Yeah. That reminds me a little bit of Forest like, though. <laughs> that, yeah. This whole game is this just This is so forest. Let's just call it forest 2 and call it a day. This is much better as well. This is forest. But, but there are no trees, man. <laughs> can we reuse um, the tree yeah, asset from forest? We could. Just jumping. I can just quickly and text you. Sometimes yeah, they actually launch. Yeah. 
No, it's great. Also, I into the LD Games chat, if you want to have a look, I sent the, um, uh, like, what the UI looks like. And I'm really happy with it, I think. The pickup gun, I added E to it, so it says, so you can see it. Um, yeah. And... It looks really good. Yeah, and it's all screen space, and it will never be obstructed by anything. Yeah. Uh, which um, is great. And also, there's a message kind of system where you can just push messages from anywhere, and they'll show up for a given amount of time, or you can press enter to skip to the next one. So yeah, it's, it's flexible um, if we want to add more text or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so I feel like levels like these, where like there's a lot of hills, have actually become a lot more interesting now. Cause yeah, see? Y just because you're behind... Unplayable. Here, <laughs> <laughs> but I feel and like they are as much like... cover as they are prison sometimes well like, yeah well that yeah but the yeah. point is to give you a slightly different experience every time because if it's the same exact no, no, thing i'm not saying anything i'm just yeah, saying yeah. that they can be a prison as well yeah. when you're surrounded by a bunch <laughs> of enemies. yeah but i also gave the enemies like i improved their aiming as well so they can actually hit you a lot of the, like you see i got hit there from quite a distance yeah and that's because the issue was that their that flickering? were coming out of their feet from the origin yeah because their, their origin is at their feet. Ah, oh, that makes, makes sense. sense. Um, but, so I basically just offset Oof. it up by placing it like around their eye. Yeah, good. Yep. So they become a lot more accurate now. Does it, um, does, do you lose? Can you lose? Uh, if your coffee, so hang on, if I just let them like shoot me enough. This game is insane. My coffee cup, my God. I'm going to probably get rid of this box. Yeah. I, I think we got it. It's just um, too much. And, and there, therefore, you have nothing to give to the general. You get another reference exception. <laughs> yeah, nice. You'll, why don't we just crash cool. the game if you get out of like, coffee? Because it's so Wait, bad. Peter, did you ever add that thing where if you shoot the uh, uh, general, like the game, you lose you lose the game on the spot? No. Oh, you can shoot the general. Because you can, yeah. And we, <laughs> we didn't add that, yeah. What's it called? Maybe I can quickly have so a look I at it. I think all we kind of need is... Um, what's it called? I can make trees, but are you gonna be able to put them in, in the game? Because you're doing something else. Now. Well, no, no, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Don't so worry about the trees. Don't worry about the trees. All right, Peter, then I'll, I'll have a look because I'm free now. I'll have a look at adding the early, uh, whatever, like ending the game because you shot the general thing. Yeah. I I was gonna say like yeah, I, it's really important to have that game over state, obviously, and like be able to play the game again if you lose. Um. Yeah, what else? what's supposed to happen is if you get shot enough, your coffee just runs out and the cup disappears. And the cup shatters. Uh, and a new cool. one should get respawned at the original tent. Oh, so you can try again. Yeah, there. like without, oh. without a game of state, you just So, that. oh, that, that's good. Yeah, yeah I, I guess I that's good, that is that, it? That was a bit better than just like restarting. But it's the same thing as restarting. But the thing is, well, you know yeah, the terrain. No, no, no. Really what I'm saying is, it's, it's a new level. yeah. Ah, uh, the gen. So you, yeah, you it's a new generation. That's it. true. Yeah. No, this is good. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. Um, I guess what would happen is um. It should probably tell you though. I can just make a pop up up here, being like, "Go back and get another coffee," or whatever. Right. Yeah. Um. Just gotta figure out why what's happening here. If the coffee is null, we're trying to find it, so it failed to actually place it. How many hours left? Uh, like an hour 45. But then there's a submission hour. So this time, because it's not our first let them dare, not that it was last time either, but um, we do not stop working until submission hour. Like, Because yeah. before, I'm pretty sure in Forest, we tried to basically ship the game but when it ends. Because, yeah. yeah. So no. Uh, well, that's great because, again, apart from that game over message, I'm basically done with my tutorial text, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to... Like, WASD, like, the controls are just going to be displayed in the main menu screen. Just do that. Well, like, I can add that or you can add that, whatever. Maybe I'll add that later. Um, oh, it's already there in the main menu. Okay, well, great. That's great. Um, yeah, in that case... Uh, oh, by the way, we probably never told you, but we removed sprinting from the game. Oh, really? Why? Because... It makes no sense without a stamina system because if you then you can just do it the whole and, time. And why wouldn't you? So we just set it to a speed that's slightly faster than. It would be nice to have a dash with a cooldown, that would just kind of move you really quickly for like a second or two. 
Just because it's nice sometimes to be able to dash away from enemies, it just makes it a bit more interesting. I don't know. If I have time, I might throw that in, but we'll see. Okay. Let me know what it's not is. vital. Um, yeah. It'll be shift, I'm but see yeah. I'm going to see if I can just get, get him to shoot my coughing out. Yeah. So I can show you it actually respawning again. What Hazel desperately needs is a volume slider. Oh, uh, we need a sensitivity slider, man. Oh, uh, yeah. But actually, this seems somehow okay. Like, as in all of our sensitivities are fine. Remember yeah. with Forest, it was weird. Yeah. I think we do it a bit differently Forest, now. Yeah. Right. But you still need it, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. It can be in the launcher. Right. So, now you can see there is another cup of coffee waiting for me. I can just pick it up and yeah. wait for compass and see that I need to go in. Yeah. I feel like the compass in certain lighting conditions is really difficult to like tell. It's not. Should I fix the texture real quick? No, just make a light. Maybe you can make a light. Uh, uh, on top of it. On top of it. Mm. If you just add a point light to the top of it, or just make it emissive, make it a bit emissive. That's your trick. <laughs> but I'm serious. That would that would be great. Okay. Because that's easy. In pity, you can just try it like right right now actually. Yeah, I think. You can no, you don't even have to stop. You could have just brought up play mode. I mean, hit pause with uh, the, the compass up is, and then I change it. I might need to add textures. They might not be in Hazel. Ah. Uh, okay. And uh, just go to yeah, the prefab. Uh, go to the prefab and check what material it has. If it's not a Hazel. Yeah, material, it, it doesn't look. It's not. Yeah. yeah. I'll I'll push it. Uh, I'll, I'll guess I'll fix the prefab now. Um, I might change <laughs> the amount of coffee that you have. Um. Or increase the amount of coffee that you lose because currently it's still really like it still feels too easy to just run directly to the general's tent without fighting even though like the enemies are more yeah capable. no also uh, quickly before i forget um why did you change it so that enemies spawn now in the around the starting position mm, because they sh i, I specifically I tried to push them out because I basically the idea is like while the player is just new in the world, I don't want to immediately have them be attacked by enemies. They don't even have a gun or anything. See, I think if you don't have spawn checked, it will behave the way you want it to. I might have accidentally. Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. You need yeah. to. That's yeah, okay. Good. Yeah, because um, that, otherwise it'll just periodically spawn next to the player, which can for? happen later, maybe when they're getting closer to the tent, but it shouldn't happen immediately. Yeah. Have, okay, have good. you played the game at all yet? Yeah. From start to oh, finish. Oh, wow, look at this. No. Okay. Because uh, sometimes it's annoying when uh, when you're dropping off the coffee and then you're getting, like, swarmed The muzzle by flashes on by default. You get uh, swarmed okay. by enemies. So it'd be good if you did what you're doing here with, like, the, uh, like, general's tent as well, but maybe tighter or something like that, you know? And not so big a radius. Yeah. But so that he has some safety zone because sometimes you're dropping off the coffee and there's literally ten enemies. Well, you have to kill them you. though. That's the point. Well, why? Why would there be ten enemies in there? No, but now that this is off, it shouldn't be like that. No, no, no this is beginner tent. I'm talking about gen general tent. Why would it matter? It, no, what what that does is it just spawns enemies periodically, just uh, like pros like just it that. The spawning yeah, thing. yeah. But they can follow you to it, for example. Well, of course they can, but if you're you know th if you're not fighting anyone and you're just you know letting uh, enemies but swarm you, you. You're saying this without having played it, though, right? My point is that if you that there's going to be way less enemies now, and the idea is to kill them. Okay. So therefore, and they're not going to keep spawning. They'll only spawn if you go to new chunks. Ah. So basically, you if you actually kill them all, you will be able to get all the way to the enemy general's tent with not a soul. They're not just going to keep appearing, stopping you from being able to hand the coffee to the general. They're going to stay dead. So, uh, Peter, maybe you you want to do this on your end, but uh, you should probably go to all the gun prefabs and just under the muzzle flash, just set visible to n not be checked by default. Because, well, I've done that. well, just I mean I don't know, but just then, like when I pick yeah. up guns, it shows it. Okay, you need I'll to I'll look at the prefab. Yeah, there you go. All right, you're doing it that way. Uh, Actual yeah. Yeah, see, so it's there. Okay. Yep. Cool. All right. Um. Go through, and then I will probably push this. Yeah. Do you want um, me to push my card first, or? Um. 
have, have you changed anything in the smooth motion in MC? Uh, yeah, I've changed quite a bit. Just keep in mind uh, all my changes first. Probably. Oh, and Peter's got, I mean, Tim's got changes. But it's only twice seen and only two splits. So yeah. yeah, I mean, I haven't really changed that many things. Like, I've added stuff. So it should be okay because they're just individual entities. Hopefully the merge will be fine. So it seems like the only gun that actually had the muscle um, flash was the assault rifle. One by default was the assault rifle. Yeah, cool. But yeah, um, you know what? You can go ahead and push because like, okay, okay, you can push because this is nothing. These are worthless. Your changes. Uh, except for that one. Yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah. I'll. Oh, there's lots so of stuff to pull as that. well. I last pulled at like seven a.m. or whatever. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try and then do that. Um, okay, cool. I'll see you later then. Yep. Bye. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly go. Your thing from uh, Dichotomy is super nice. What <laughs> thing? Like four lines of code that I had to copy to get that nice like transition effect. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's quick. All right. Um, I'll be right back, guys. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> Take you where you've never been So don't break your heart in I won't let you down
Uh, the song name is Burning Room, yeah, by Loving Caliber. Alright, uh, sweet. So, I want to add a few more things, but let's do the pool first. Make sure that works. I just pulled all your stuff and I'm testing to make sure it works before I push. do this. I'm going to split this up. Hopefully that's not too much text. Oh, I wanted to make the fading quicker. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit annoying. Or maybe it's not. But either way, if I just do times two or something, I'll be twice as fast. So half a second. I think that's better. I hope this is not too wide, this, this. We could just reduce the font size as well. Because I'm just thinking if your resolution is small, that's not gonna care. Oh, and we have to make it do the height thing, uh, as in not be too tall. Um, which I'll make that happen soon. Uh, let's maybe make it a bit smaller. So the size I think is 40. Let's make it 30. Let's see how big that is. It's still like readable, obviously. Yes. No. Ah, I think I want a little dot 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 at the start though to let it know that it's not done. Okay. 
Right, so... Yes, there being the top thing. Uh, I think we can ask the scene what this viewport size is, right? Oh, uh, really? Really, we have no, no way to get the viewport? That's not great. It's pretty easy, like, if we can, though. I thought I had that, man. Script glue. Uh, Scene.h. Viewport. Uh, set viewport size. Get width or something. Get viewport width. Yeah, get viewport width and get viewport height. Like, that is something that we can get. Ah, oh, it's application get width. Yeah, I knew it was there. Okay, so get yeah, so application get width is what it's called. So that means that I can just go into the tutorial basically and make sure that this text component. Um, so where is it at the moment? So it's at Y800. And how big is my screen? Because that's a nice, I like that position. So if I look at the scene renderer and see the viewport size, so 959. So it's 160 pixels from there. So all I have to do, or all I should have to do, right, because at the moment if I hit play and if I like resize this, you can see if it's too wide, it goes off the screen, right? And I'm gonna fix that by um, setting uh, and you can resize, I guess, which matters, maybe. But <coughs> I guess I can I can do text component um, or other translation dot y equals uh, application dot uh, width or height rather minus one sixty. And of course, I can't do it that way should make something to make that kind of stuff possible. All right, so now, check that out. It stays constant as I resize, which is good. matter if I'm playing obviously if you're too wide it's just not gonna fit it could be a percentage as well obviously like I don't know maybe that's better anyway this is silly obviously I should probably stop this I need to make I've got an hour and a half to make some audio <coughs> but um but I'm done basically I think after this so that's good uh, so let's do So 160 was nine. It was the people high was 960. So 160 out of that is like 0.16. So if I just do uh, um, that minus that times 0.16, that should scale well, I think. Yeah. So see now it kind of just goes up a bit like that. Just making the text. Oh, I'm very bright. Oh. That does happen sometimes. Uh, max sample allocator. Okay, I thought I fixed that. <coughs> that won't be a problem though. That's only if you resize it. No, no, no. Well, if you keep resizing the window, but you can't because it'll make it full screen. And lock it to that. Well, it always is that, yeah. Um, but that that that's a post. That's an easy fix post thing. I thought I already fixed that. Post. Weird. Okay. I'm gonna do audio now. Why is it rebuilding everything? Yep.
I'm just adding. Well, I don't even see it in my memory, but. Uh, the, the point is, yeah, I'm just adding the solution to the problem, which is to replace the line and add a variable to the variable. Like that. So I'm going to get rid of the line right away. Yeah, he's, he's, he's doing that now, I think. After he comes Ah, oh, that is after he changed. I'm about, tell Peter I'm about to push, and when I do, I want everyone to pull, so that we're on the same page. I should test that in the run time as well, maybe. Whatever. If it's a problem, I'll fix it. Okay, I've pushed, guys. Uh, but it, you, you need an engine pull as well. Yep. Okay, Alright, I'm about to do audio, which I'm going to probably do on a different computer.
I don't know if I'm gonna really show me making audio, <coughs> just because you guys won't hear it. I'm gonna be using headphones, but if you want, I can just have the mic, this oh, mic, kind of up a bit. That's an interesting bug. What happened? My gun got flipped all of a sudden. Yeah, so I haven't I seen that. About to solve. The thing ask is, you if you solved that. I, yeah, because like I, I haven't had that until now. And then I pick up another gun and it flips back into the right position. I think don't worry about it. Just we can fix it after launch. Yeah, because I imagine like if it's not even something that's easily reproducible, that's not great. Is there a bug that we got in Breakpoint we need to fix it? <laughs> um. Okay. Let's. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna start recording audio. So you guys need to be quiet. Okay. I'm putting it back in here. Okay. Yeah, but also maybe don't talk at all too much. Yeah. Uh, can you show me how to do this thing for the UI? Uh, it's pretty it's easy. You yeah. just work it out. Just okay. if you just I'll yeah, you just make a text it. component, press free space, and then the translation is it and scale is in pixel space. Okay. Um. So in other words, this will have to be in pixels. Yeah. X and Y. Z you'll have to set to minus one. Okay. Uh, and then scale is the font size. Scale. Is so try and keep it uniform. Just put that away. <laughs> Man, 
I had just put that away. <clears throat> Can you keyboard spell that? <laughs> Man, I just put that away. Man, I just put that away. Man, I just put that away.
Nah, I think the more voices like that, the better the game will be. And, we can just have some fun where we just can. And be like, "Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There's lots we could do. Yeah, nah, uh, when you get into stuff like that, it's really cool. Um. Sucks how uh, Hazel doesn't support more than one font in a single <laughs> thing there. In a what? In a scene. You can't have two fonts in the same, two different fonts in a scene. Why not? Because there's been a bug since like days ago, which I told you about Django, but I don't know. The fonts just start glitching out. Like the glyphs just get wrong or something. Yeah. Yeah. Because for the, for the ammo counter, I don't really want to have 10 or 25. I want to just have like the letter I, yeah. you know, and then, but this one has like, no, I'm still going to do a letter I with this one, I think, because okay. it's what I want. Spilling it, damn it. Damn, I'm spilling it. I think I think this is the right direction. I I think the general's tent is this way. I think this is the way to the general's tent. I, I think this is the way to the general's tent. Almost there. Almost there. <coughs> Almost there.
Okay. Done. Kind of. I will do more, but. Hmm? Not talking to you. Done with the yep. Yeah. Um, alright. So. Let's get it all in here. Here they are. This is what I recorded. Ah, oh, I'm not showing my screen. Whoops. These guys. Uh, let's see if there's any cha <coughs> changes. Improved enemy jumping. Alright, so. Better UI for ammo. Let me pull this stuff. Is there anything here? Probably not. Nope. Alright, good. Oh, that's smart. Someone said it, it based on the percentage of coffee you deliver, you should get a score. Okay, let's start with <coughs> the uh, maybe the footsteps. No, I can't hear that for some reason. Is that because OG files don't play? That would be a blunder. Might be a bug. Can't really hear that either. What? Hey, um, what's it called? How does the compass work? This used to work. What, what does it turn to? It has no stick to it. What happened here? My audio not work. No, that works. What? Do I have to fill the sound bank? Probably not. But this used to work. That's very weird. <laughs> yeah, so that works here. But not here. Mm, great. Mm, okay, what's your child uh, of the compass and to the fold? Ah, but it's. it's doesn't make any sense. Never mind, it's a sign. It doesn't go straight, it's just a sign. So it was working before. Ah, oh, look. Is that it? What? What's it called? Uh, did you change the Yarn's thing? Because Yarn's compass used to point to your immediate objective. So if you drop a coffee cup, that's really strange. Point you in the direction of the coffee cup. The invalid sound uh, thing might be. This is what you were talking about. This is it. How it's very slow to rotate. 
No, that's not printing though. Yeah, it's kind of bad. What? <sighs> I don't know what happened, man. Yeah, it should be the right. Looks like it's loading the right audio device. Okay, that works now. So basically, if I go to this one, it just breaks everything to the point where mm -hmm. if I go back, <laughs> this doesn't play anymore. All right, great. <coughs> I'm gonna try re-export them as WAV files. Og should work, but apparently not. Okay, I got some new ones. I didn't do all of them. We're just gonna see if this works. Because unfortunately that's very uh, weird. Now there's two of them. Well, that one works, yeah. So it's an OG file issue. Okay. So we'll <coughs> remove the OGs for now. <coughs> Maybe later we'll fix it and push it because it will be smaller. Now, uh, attenuation, probably not for footsteps. Does that work or does it just not follow this? I think that's just the source, not the, which is unfortunate. Um, all right, so let's try and make the footsteps work because I need to make sure I can trigger stuff. So, and I forgot how to do that. We're gonna have to look up Dichotomy's code, actually, to see how we did that. Okay, player, something, something, audio, play, move, audio. Where's that? That's in, I think that's in player base. Okay, so audio post event, new audio command that, and then it it's that audio component, I think. So let's try something like this.
Very hacky, very last minute. Uh. Uh. Yeah. We should do the epsilon thing, shouldn't we? Yeah, because I have prefab changes. It's, the, it's not a prefab, though. It's not. It's just an um. it, It's not being instantiated. that Why can't I? I guess I have to make a const. All right, let's try this. Twenty-seven minutes left. Nice. You don't. Ah, uh, okay. uh, you can put the game up later. Um. Okay. So play out. Yeah. Needs to have an audio component. That's, that's not how it was meant to be. Um, <coughs> and we need to add an audio event called footstep. It's just one footstep. Play my footstep. Please work. Excellent. That was probably too much of a delay, though. No, no, I'll make it quiet, I think. But I'm really happy that that just works. Because I don't have <coughs> time to deal with it. Um, ah, oh, it doesn't stop playing. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, if it's, I think if if this is too much, it'll accumulate. See, but also, why is it still playing? That doesn't make sense. That is something weird. Oh, or... No, wait. What am I doing? If these are... Either of these are false is what I think I want, right? That doesn't work at all, though. Is that because my dead zone is... Not correct? Well, no, because it would be playing. I could just be like, if animation doesn't equal one as well, because that's just the idle animation, right? But that doesn't work. Why? Uh, I guess I can debug. Huh, well, it's not hitting that. What? But this stuff isn't one. So shouldn't that mean if I'm wa like walking, 
What the heck? That's weird. I mean, it's gonna crash now, but. That's really weird. Okay, it somehow didn't crash. It's not printing. Animation doesn't equal one. What? Or is that, is this explicitly for the controller? Oh, it is. Ah, damn it. Funny. I guess I can do it last. It serves me right for just sticking code in the middle of a function. I might, I might make it a little bit more delayed. Although, no, I think, I think that's okay. Maybe I could randomize the audio. I don't know. Um, I'll make it quieter as well because that is too loud. Now's not the time to tweak this. Although, I don't know, is that just annoying? Like, why even have footsteps? I don't know. Yeah, I guess if they're quiet and subtle, they're fine. Okay, now I have to go through and make all the other ones. Uh, I didn't put all of them in, I think. Okay, so Peter wanted a, a buzz. Um, <coughs> or removed when jumping. Yeah, that's a good idea. And maybe if and not targeting, so we'll go we'll remove it for that. And okay, uh, I don't know why the Oh here it is. There's a um There's a, is grounded. Yeah, that's good. All right. <coughs> so if press that, oh, can't use compass right now. So this is where we do the um, audio playing. Can't use compass. All right. So, oh, no. um, so my actual exit is helping me ID for the remote um, If I don't click that, I can still click things by itself. Is that going to affect anything? Like one line of text? Anything like that? Okay, if anything, just revert this to me. This nice comment by Peter. It's very helpful. Um, so, basically, uh, buzz, and then maybe we can do a random, like we can do a. Let's see. So, 0 to, I don't know, 10 equals like 3, I don't know. <coughs> I want to be like, I just put that away. Um... So 
So it always plays a buzz and then either no or uh, like a 30% chance or whatever of no and a 1 in a 10% chance of I just put that away. So I need I, I need this now. Um, let's set up the sound configs first. Just put that away. Yeah, I hope I no, have them all here. No, no, it's just me being like, mm-mm. Ah, uh, yeah, I should have that. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, no. A little bit of reverb. Uh, wait. I just put that away. Man, I just put that away. As well, a little bit of reverb. Unable to find trigger command. Beautiful. Did I misspell it or something? Oh, buzz. Buzz isn't a thing. I forgot the buzz. The buzz is like bzz or whatever. Bzz. Like that. <laughs> if we can pitch it down a bit. I did pitch it down in the thing. We need gunfire as well. Ugh, I don't know how I'm going to have time for all of this. Okay, the reverb's a bit silly, or at least that much Ten. silly. Make this a bit quieter. Um, there's a little bit of static the first time this plays, so maybe show start text could do that. Wait, that should sound more staticky, but whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> I could do like a little bit of a low pass on it though. Take out some of that high end. Uh, static. Incoming radio transmission, basically. Ah, uh, I needed to fix the text thing. Ah, uh, tutorial. So I want to kind of set the text component dot text to be empty <coughs> that will clear that um, and I think we could start with that as well I had the whole getting closer thing, which I might put in later. Um,
Gun gunfire. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, I'm gonna go to that free sound place. These are all gonna be so bad, aren't they? That's not bad. For a high school production, nice. That could be the shotgun one. I really should be having using headphones because otherwise that could be the sniper. No, oh, some of these are og files. Okay, we won't use this og one because <laughs> that doesn't seem to work. Free sound. I'll separate the ones that aren't mine. Ah, oh, well, I didn't have to do it here, but. It doesn't matter. Source, actually. Okay. Don't remember which one's a which. Um, <coughs> there'll be three different gun sounds. I guess gunshots. So, oh, that's source, okay. Um, so let's do, let's see, gunfire one. Um, gunfire two. Let's see, gunfire sniper. Okay, so, um, what's this one? That looks like, that sounds like a shotgun. That's the sniper. Okay, that should be the default one, I guess. Uh, so let's let's leave that. Um, we'll make it sp specialized. Uh, I forget how to make that sound look good because I think it'll drop off really quick. Oh, but there's a min gain, isn't there? And a min distance and max distance. Whatever. We'll see if that this works. Um it can be like the shotgun. That's the sniper. I guess a little bit of reverb could be cool for the sniper. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. I I really forget how to do how to set up sounds properly. Uh I'm gonna fire one. Well, this can be like gunfire shotgun, actually. Gunfire assault rifle. And gunfire sniper. Don't know why I chose to call them gunfire, but that's okay. How much time? 10 minutes. Nice. Um. Okay, so now we just trigger them. <coughs> so when the player shoots, and we have to play them at a certain location as well, that's the yeah, thing. Okay. For player it's okay, but for enemies it'd be different. Um, so what happens when we shoot? This is gun shoot, play sound, and then I guess it'll depend, I'll play audio, I guess it will depend what, uh, <coughs> I guess it will depend where, um, like what it uh, is, um, in terms of, uh, like the gun that you're using will, yeah, determine that. But let's just do gunfire assault rifle. Let's just make sure that, that works. Uh, th there's a cooldown anyway, but, 
Unable to find, okay, um, gunfire assault rifle, did I misspell that? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's too quick. And also they get destroyed for some reason. Wonder why. Oh, that seems to like crash, I think. Or is it crashing? Why is it printing me that thing? Huh, that's strange. What? Oh, because it overwrites the other one, maybe. Wait, does it? There's post event location, which is good. Does this actually, like, ah, uh, yeah. or is that just my weird low pass or whatever? It is specialized. Let's turn that off. Yeah. That's what it should sound. No, I didn't do any pa filters. What? <laughs> That's not what it's supposed I mean, to sound like, bro. Why is that the case, huh? <sighs> and, I mean, there's a cooldown on the gun, isn't there? Or not really. Oh, on those stupid particles, man. Yeah, I don't know. On what? On what? On what? Uh, on dichotomy. What, did you, like, during dichotomy, you want to be like, yo, I want to make this into like a game? Yeah, well, I, in, I, I don't know, know, but remember we wanted to at some point, though, after. I, I remember trying to convince you. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I really like my, like, text and text. Like, the, the yeah, I don't know, man. It's nice and it's great. Oh, uh, well, actually, I guess gun shoot has yeah. the cooldown, doesn't it? Yeah, that's, that's probably why I don't even have access to player. It doesn't matter though, because this is, might as well be static. Oh, oh no, it's not, because it needs the audio component. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to make a, uh, in, uh, I'm going to make this like a little instance, I think. This little singleton. Because I don't have time. That's a lot better. But I guess you can't, like, the problem was there before was that, I mean, I guess we were playing every frame, but it's more so the fact that, um, like, I don't know if that, if, yeah, if I need sense. different, or like, I guess the way that that would work is every enemy would have their own audio component, right? And then they, yeah, I guess that would work. That, that's how it would work. Yeah. So if we did audio component. For an enemy. Oh, whoops. <laughs> mm, uh, what would we do? So. The enemy prefab. Would get an audio component. Uh, <coughs> so when I'm destroyed was is false though. Yeah, let's just try that.
and that's important because now, uh, if we look at the player, yeah. uh, it will do post event at location. Uh, and the location is translation. So it's actually going to, this will be a spatial audio, which is cool. Um, doesn't need the audio component. Uh, this might be different. Create a temporary audio object. Oh, maybe this is good. I don't know, we'll see if this works. But basically, like, it's going to try and shoot. Right? Shoot cooldown. Yeah. Okay, so this is where it tries to shoot, I guess. Okay, with the shoot cooldown, it returns. So, we can try to play audio uh, here, I guess. But also, the I mean, the gun is doing gun shoot, so it might play it. Which is... I think gun... Personally, I think gun shoot should return a boolean and that way like it can tell you whether or not the shoot happened and so you can basically be like yeah it should probably be here if the shoot happened then play the sound um, uh, and same with this right because I don't like the idea because otherwise the gun does the playing which is a bit weird and it has to do that so no singleton anymore I guess so shoot happens here, if shoot, uh, then play audio. This can just be global, but the other one's spatial. So I don't know if this will work, I guess we'll find out. It's amazing how much better audio makes it. <laughs> it's really satisfying. Oh, here we go. Let's see if that works. Oh. Oh, I made it non-spatial. Uh, and I guess the player... But it does play the sound. That's important. So, let's do at location as well. Uh, this is what we'll have to do as well. I think... So, translation... Uh, I don't really care about the rotation. Let's just do vector3.up or something. I don't know. Yeah, what needs to happen from the or... Well, whatever. Um, but yeah, we need to go into... What time is it? Two minutes left. <coughs> we need to basically go into here. And just make this, yeah, spatial again. Okay. So now let's see if that works. It's a lot quieter. Which is not good. Let's see if the enemies work though. Be loud. Man, I just put that away. Enemies, there you are. Yep, that works. This is pretty sick. There's too many particles though. <coughs> but yeah, that's it. Like, I don't know, it's rough, but it's done, I think. We just need to combine it and build it, and we've got a minute left. <coughs> and all the gun sounds at the moment are the same, but we can... I've already made all the gun sounds, I can just probably package it all up during submission hour. I'm sure that's fine. But yeah, that's it. That's done. Um, was there something I wanted to do? I wanted to reduce the amount of particles. I'm going to have to add tiering for this, like particles maybe should be able to be turned off, but obviously we can do that post-launch. So we've got an hour to submit now. So we'll submit this build, I guess, and then we'll obviously uh, improve things and fix bugs and whatever throughout the day. Or at least that's what I'm planning to do. Um, yeah, the particles, yeah. So that's the sparks. So at the moment we spawn 10 of them. Let's just do like four, maybe. And with the blood, like, yeah. I don't know. I'm just I'm just a little bit concerned about the performance. <laughs> that static's annoying as well. I might re-record that. And 
And yeah, the particles would be nice if the particles were the color. Oh. Oh, I didn't do the thing that I wanted to do. What the heck happened? My mouse. Oh, my mouse died. What is the current deadline and why are there two? There's a deadline for work and there's a deadline for submission. So, uh, oh, you know what it is actually, guys? Um, as in, like, why? It's because the audio listener should be on the player, not on um, the camera. So, let's remove this. Let's try it. Let's see if that makes it sound any better. That's not a special sound, so that'll be fine. Maybe that should be yellow instead of red. Oh, look, there's an enemy. That definitely makes it sound louder. Did I have a bit of reverb on it? No, I didn't. That's out a little bit. Tim, check this out. That's a bad world. Going a bit flatter, please. Where's my... There it is. It's really nice having that compass. Check this out, Tim. Um, yeah, I think just He's busy. Deeper. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, no, that's, that's really weird. really weird. It kind of seemed to work better when it was on the camera, to be honest. Yeah, let's... I'm going to put it back on the camera. I don't have time to, change, to play with it now. Um, camera. Oh, it was on the actual camera as well. Yeah, this one. And I don't think it looks too dark. It's just, I wish this was a little bit louder, like when the player Even shot versus down. not. But I think that the spatialization works properly. Oh, but see, that's closer to it. But I guess it's right. You're the camera, kind of. I just wish the player... I wish I could add a modifier to the player and just make him louder. You know, that would be nice. Um, you know, I might be able to. Yeah, but there's no melee, unfortunately. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? Uh, Forgot about that. Um, okay, so play audio. Can I at all, like, tell it to play louder? I don't think so. I can do set parameter, but it's for a particular... Yeah. Oh, no, you know what I could do? I know how I could do it. Um... Yeah, it's easy. I can just... I'll make another sound config that isn't spatialized, basically. And since there's only one gunfire sound... Gunfire... NS. We'll just call it gunfire NS. And this will be the assault rifle or whatever. Uh, it's the source. So it's, I think... Is it this one or the last one? Yeah, the last one. And we'll, yeah, we won't make it specialized. We'll still do, like, the reverb. And we might make it a bit quieter, because I'm pretty sure it was loud. Um, yeah, and then we'll just do gunfire, assault rifle, but I'll call it NS, non-specialized. And, yeah.
And so now the player specifically can trigger that one. Right. It'd be nice to have some screen shake and general polish, but yeah. Alright, done. Okay, what have you guys done that I need to pull for submission? I might have a change. But like what a because I did I have obviously got a lot of changes. Nothing to the engineer. Um no. so there'll be like a bunch of stuff that I need to So Prototyping Make scene, sure it works. Uh, or like whatever. This is gonna be a rough In the pull, scene, I, think. I had a change. Um, I don't know what. Oh, no conflicts apparently. That's a bit sus. Did you guys add any files? I guess it doesn't matter to this anymore. Nah, I think we were just changing. <coughs> What's it called? Are you ready to start building already? Well, why not? Yeah. Mm. And I have to do the page and the build, like, on the launcher. Oh. I'm gonna spend the rest of this day probably just putting together like a launcher with graphic settings, with like, you know, partic how many particles do you want? <laughs> so you can actually be like low, medium, high <laughs> amount of particles or whatever. And uh, stuff like, you know, readme, setting up the website for it, but it's kind of cool. I, I've also got a bunch of sound effects that I recorded and just haven't had time to put in, so I might sneak those in without anyone noticing. I might have a right, stream, you won't tell anyone. A, a what? Code, code, code change. change, okay. In five minutes. Well, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go through this anyway. Oh, that's cool, the typing. Oh, the compass looks much better. And does the shooting work? No. My shooting's broken. What? All my audio events got nuked. What? Except for the ambience one. How did that happen, huh? What the heck? Why did all of my audio events get nuked? Ah, uh, there's always all this dodgy stuff with audio. So I have to remake them now. Ugh. Why does that happen? I don't know. It's a bug. Alright, so let's do... Let's, yeah. What? Which ones were there? Footstep. I, I, I guess I can just search. Yeah, it'd be probably faster to just search for like this. And then, I'm just going to take a little screenshot of this, keep it here, and then I can go through everything. Static, buzz, yeah, I'm, I don't know why, like, that didn't work. This shouldn't take very long to fix, but... <coughs> but yeah so the assault rifle is gunfire 1 the NS version is uh, this one I just put that away static I might reduce the, sound, the how loud the static is as well footstep buzz and that's it. So let's say that's not that bad, right? As long as it actually worked. <laughs> ah, that's my bad. I had my space bar on the uh, <laughs> on the stop button. Yeah, my footsteps are working. I'm guessing this will work. Let me just check the enemies. Make sure they play. I definitely don't like the ammo. It, well, look at it. It's obnoxious. It should, oh, you can it. maybe I'll make it only when you fire. And also look, it's not going down. It's because it's locked down. So it's oh. I got specialized audio. It's more quiet than I would have liked. Well, I mean, like, I think we need but to have an ammo indicator of someone and it's better than ammo equals 10. You know, but do we really need an ammo indicator? Like why, oh, if yeah, you can't shoot, it. you can't shoot. Like what's the difference? Well, you're gonna save your no, ammo. No, I think we should have it. But why, tell me why. Because most users are used to seeing an ammo indicator. Why do we have to make a game like most <laughs> users? Because, because <laughs> well, most users are used to seeing. Well, I mean, it's up to you. You can take that if you want. 
but I think we should have one because like I remember I was playing it without without the ammo being on screen because it was just outside somewhere and I'm like why the heck can't I shoot right now oh it's because maybe I it have should ammo. yeah just and disappear I'm a of this game. well yeah but that's why when when people play games and they can't shoot they don't assume it's a bug like for development yeah it's nice to have have that just to make sure that things are actually working well I'll keep it I might just make it smaller move it a bit and make it only like fade away if you haven't shot for like five seconds there's no reason to just yeah. I just don't like the fact that it just crowds the screen yeah. for no reason you know yeah, um alright yeah I don't know if it was linear exponential you can because you can play with these and might make it a bit better I have to make sure I have time to sit <laughs> there oh, I did the thing again um yeah that's right though I did want to make this static Quieter. There is something weird with that, though. Oh, that guy just ran down. There's no death sound, there's no hurt sound. I've made hurt sounds, I just haven't put them in. <coughs> so I'll, I might put them in after submission because I've already made them so um, that, that doesn't count as cheating right um alright so what's up make a clicking sound when you have ammo yeah I'm out of time so maybe later like much later in a different version uh I just wanted to quickly tweak the ammo. Where is the ammo? Is it on the gun? Uh... Hey, Tim, where's the ammo? Like, in the level? Where's the ammo in the level? Uh, just search for ammo, it's on the camera. Okay. But it's not, it's just, it's screen space, yeah? Yeah, it's Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Yep, sure. I'm just gonna play with it. Nah, cause... Do it, do it without the scene playing, I think. I'm gonna do it here, cause it's probably... Well, why? I'll just copy it later. Cause I need to, I need to see where it is. Might make it. Oh, that's annoying if you have a shadow. Probably don't need that. No, but that looks weird. Why is that not blending, though? Oh, because the shadow. Okay, um...
Wait, that's ammo count text. That's the wrong thing I was going to say. Ugh. Um. <coughs> Did that right? No. I hate how it moves stuff. Uh, okay, so that ammo thing. How does that actually get displayed though? Ammo count text. Yeah, it's on the player. Oh, it is ammo count text. Is it? Ammo count text. Oh, it is still is. Okay, never mind. So I was right. Okay, good. I guess. Yeah, of course. I even saw the bars. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yep. So if it's greater than like five, uh, we'll do nothing. Uh, otherwise, we'll do ammo, right? And when you pick up a new gun, it should show you. Um, so... <coughs> I don't know if guns are like that, though. Like, how do we pick up a gun? There's a gun pickup, isn't there? Gun item? On pickup, player controller. Okay. Yeah, so player controller dot. Let's just do time since last shot zero. And we'll just make that internal or whatever. <laughs> so that way it will reset. Oh, that, why is that in the, in the wrong spot? But does it go? Yeah, it goes away. Alright, cool. Uh, why is it in the wrong spot? What happened to it? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be at 100, 150. Uh, I guess something moves it. Something must move it. Yep. Yeah, because I think it used to have to... Oh, right, because of this. Yeah, nah. I'm not doing that anymore. And I put it up there so that we can, yeah, so that's above that. I guess I can lower it a bit though. Pause. I'm being a bit of a perfectionist, but like I could set it to be like here. So that it's above this coffee thing. Alright, done. So, Tim, you said there was one more thing that I had to pull? A, a code change there. It's not coming in yet. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Well, then, regardless, I'm going to just build the sound bank. I'm going to build the shader pack. And I'm going to build the asset pack. <coughs> scared of that. Um, cool. Done. Dunsies. So now, we've got about 40 minutes, which is good. Make sure the runtime actually works. Oh, it's probably going to load the wrong scene, but that's okay. Make it load the right scene. Yeah, this is Oh, okay, good. Well, then I might just focus on this. It's not that hard, though, but... Oh, what? The audio doesn't work. Oh, you know what? I think I know what it is, and I didn't commit it again. It's me running the runt. No, but that doesn't make sense either. Oh, Ugh, what? But the first one works though. Or do I have to save project? Is that why? Maybe I didn't save the project. And so it just stores it in memory or something ridiculous. Okay, let me fix the audio for like the 10th time. <sighs>
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it just doesn't. Do I still have my screenshot? I do not. Um, I'm pretty sure it just has to, yeah, I, I need to save the project. So let me just redo these. Again. And I'll save the project this time and make sure. Because I thought it, it, it should really do it automatically, but it does not, alas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's all of these ones. Play buzz. Play footstep. If it's just as simple as saving the project, I'll be happy though. Because that's not, that's obviously easy to fix. Okay, so I guess at the moment, even if I close it and, and hit Control S, it still hasn't, see there's still no audio thing, but if I hit File Save Project, then, aha, uh -huh, Audio Commands Registry. Okay, so that's why, that's, yeah, a little bit weird, um, but again, I'm just happy that it does in fact work. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Yeah, mouse sensitivity will probably be controlled by launcher. Um, yeah, whatever. So that's done. Yeah, save project, save everything. I don't know if we need to rebuild the asset pack. Probably not, because actually that file I don't think goes in there. Because our audio system is a little bit separate still. I'll build a sound bank just in case. And hopefully now I can just run the runtime and it will be perfect. <laughs> Still loads the wrong scene, but you can see it all works. Like the audio works. Okay, um... <coughs> What's up? We've got 37 minutes to submit. Um, I mean, it's like, could really be... done. Um, like in terms of, you know, everything. <laughs> Uh, I just need to work on, yeah, let's actually make sure, first of all, we're going to do a try distribution build outside of Visual Studio in a minute. Uh, yeah, I need to build this as well. But um, before I do that, yeah, maybe make sure we're loading the right scene. Because what's, like, at the moment, yeah, it's loading this. Uh, it should be loading... the main scene, I'm guessing. Why are there two of them, man? Oh, that's really bad. Um, well, actually, we might be able to uh, look at the project settings. Uh, oh, main menu, I see. Tell Jan about what? And it didn't. Instead of taking it to the main menu? Instead of taking it. How? Yeah. What does that have to do? And then he fixed it by picking up the coffee cup and dropping it again, and then it worked. I don't know why that would happen. Uh, what happened here? I guess that scene doesn't exist or something? Really? Is there another main scene? There's main menu and main scene. Yeah, I know. But they seem to have multiple IDs. Like, as in, there's uh, multiple copies of them in the asset registry for some reason. But to be honest, I think we only need two scenes for the game, right? Main menu and both. Uh, yes. Uh, no, there's only one main menu scene. Oh, yeah, I copied the wrong. Scene and one main menu scene. I must have copied the C sharp script ID. <laughs> Ammo's not broken. It. Well, I don't think it is. It's just if you have above ten, it just shows ten, right? Ten. Yeah. So how much do you start with? Ten. 
Ah, and look, what's this? Ah, uh, this doesn't do anything, does it, the text? Yeah, it doesn't. All right, let me but fix that. But it probably doesn't need to, because it's, it's going to be what on full screen. What do you mean? Well, this is screen. literally 16-9 aspect ratio, oh, the most common okay, one. Okay. This is a bit then, wider because yeah. of that thing, so that needs to be fixed, yeah. That's easy fix, though. Yeah, I need... Oh, can you make an icon? Yeah. little icon. What should it be? Uh, what should it be? I don't know. Like, the Economy's one was really cool. I just It was like a little square. I guess it can be like the coffee cup. The coffee cup. Yeah, maybe the coffee cup. Okay. With like, I don't know. Oh, and make it like, make it maybe 256 by 256. Okay. PNG. And I'll do the rest. Yeah, I'll <coughs> PNG, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so main menu. Text. Where is it? Uh, yeah, where is it? UI. Okay, they're all kind of different. Uh, but it's okay, because I should be able to just move it all like this. But unfortunately, zero is there for some reason. And H is there. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's not screen space as well. No, it's not. It's world space. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, yep. I'll just remake it then entirely, I guess. Um, yeah, that one is fine to remake. But that Not one this has one. To stay. Well, hopefully that one will, yeah. Oh, uh, no, but see... Oh, so you have to click on controls. Yeah, I guess there's quite a lot of them. Because I was thinking, like, just to display them here, but... No, but, like... I mean, it, Is it clear like to use the arrows, Stephen? Because people are going to try clicking on these. Oh, yeah. And that's not going to work. That should be, like, okay, probably. Yeah, this one should be okay. But this one is the problem one. Mm -hmm. Why does that not crash for you? For me, resize, like, I literally I don't like, know. resize my people. I don't know. Just Maybe you guys, I don't know. Computer. Yeah, it's weird. I'm serious. I haven't had, like, a single graphics crash during this whole jam. I haven't even been working in Hazel, and I've had so many. <laughs> well... <laughs> Peter says resizing it for him also crashed for him. Like, he crashes just going up. Like well, how, though? What's different with you guys? Well, I don't know. VK device, like... Up, did you try updating the drivers? I actually haven't, no. I, I'm, I'm outdated because I remember, like, a, a day before the game came out, like, there was an update. But I'm out. Yeah. Um, alright. Let's make a new... So this will be set programmatically. That's possibly too big. But I'll set it 100. Well, I think we'll set all of these bounds kind of somewhat pro programmatically.
Okay, that's not bad. Oh, so I still. Oh, I forgot the minus one. Yeah. Of course. Okay, so I think this is good, but yeah, now we have to add some scripts to it, though. So, ugh. <coughs> maybe I can just iterate through. Maybe I can just be cool with it. Let's do like a script. Um. We'll call it, I'll copy the tutorial one, we'll call it main menu UI. <laughs> we'll keep literally this. Try quick call recursive function. It's in the opposite direction. Because we're going to go through, find all of the uh, things here. Yeah. What was that? I saw one of the scripts you were putting the base thing to like 0.7. That's pretty high. Um, if uh, root has component, text component, then uh, texts. Nice. Yeah, so that will just uh, go through and add, basically, okay. all the children, I think. And so the idea with that yeah, is I when we resize, like so... <coughs> This will be good to reuse later. Probably don't need to write it this good now, but uh, it's a uint. Let's just make it an int. Because it actually two i's an int. Um, Uh, 
Uh, and then we'll basically recalculate everything. So we're going to go through all, all the children, or well, everything that we have here. So for each text. Um, and uh, my plan was basically to just take the existing... Oh, but it'd be good if we knew the factor. Ugh. Maybe we, we could be cool and use rotation for... Oh, but it's going to be a... No, no, no. I think... Yeah, I think I was going to be like text original translation dot x times like 0 0.1 or something, or 0 0.2 or whatever. Might be too much. Um, so we'll basically do... Wait, what did I do... Wait, no, no, so it's the, it's x plus, and then the percentage is also based on this, plus like that 0.2 or something. Sorry, uh, the width, 0.2. Is that, does that make sense? Is that going to be weird? I don't know. That might, I think that's going to be weird. <laughs> I don't think that's what I want. Well, that didn't do anything as well. Oh, I didn't. Why did that not do anything? Huh. Oh. It worked perfectly. I actually think that thought that didn't do anything, but look, it moves the text. No, 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 it didn't. <laughs> It's the up and down that's supposed to move the text, isn't it? But no, but either way, this works. So I'm going to just ship it. Let's uh, clear. Let's get rid of this. Um, <laughs> because I just realized that it, by making it screen space, I'm now uh, making this. And if you're wide enough, then obviously it's going to break. I guess that's bad if people are playing on an ultra wide. It'd break. Whatever. Um, okay. Is that good enough? Do we just ship that? Let's try and ship this. Ah, oh, yes, I'm out of samplers. Maybe that's the graphics crash they were talking about, which is not a big deal. Oh, that's fine. I thought it was too bright. That's the runtime. Yeah, let's just ship this out, and then we can, we can actually fix text later. The important thing is to get that build and ship it, which I'm running out of time to do. So we'll build the asset pack. Okay, that's better, I guess. So ultra wide setup. Uh, well, I guess it's. Uh, it should be fine, I think. Yeah. Whatever, it's good enough. Um, okay, so in the runtime, I want to do a, c a few things in a minute, but uh, I guess we'll make it be full screen. We'll change it to be called saving uh, private or saving cap Captain Chino. Uh, yeah, we'll just do full screen true, I guess. Vsync true. You'll, and the graphics settings you'll be able to change, but I feel like I should just ship it like this, right? Hey, um, have a background for the, for the icon, right? Oh, no, the, that changes the text. Ugh. Uh, sh yes, yes, background for the icon. Yeah, that's right, because it makes it big and stuff. Um, that's not great. Where does that even happen? The main menu. There's got to be yeah, main menu. I guess it's this one. Ugh, oh, that's so annoying. But I guess we can just so selected scale. Is that s that's an absolute scale? It's not based off of. <sighs> okay, so what we're gonna do is that's so annoying. Well, but it's only for two options. So actually we can, I think we'll just hard code it. So <coughs> um, I think that we can just do this. 
which is not great, but so 80, because 80 is the scale. So I think if I adjust the quickest way would be basically uh, selected, let's just make it 80, uh, times like 1.2, so it makes it a bit bigger. And then deselected will be just times like 1, right? That's done. Uh, and I want to actually add one more thing. Yeah? Cool. Use arrows, I'll just say use arrows and enter to select. To disappear. Why does that suddenly not work? Hey, uh, Tim. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how, how, how does the, uh, how does this disappear? What did you do to make it disappear? Uh, oh, it, it was in world space. Okay, never mind. Yep. Sure. Do we know if we're in the help section? How do we know? Yeah. Are you Is there the like menu? an easy way to be like, you're um, in the help? Yeah, literally, I think it's called on help screen, but that's uh, on help just screen. when transition starts. Yeah. Is there a transition function? Yeah, help uh, screen transition. On, on, Beautiful, that's all I needed. Yeah. And it stays at one, yeah? It, what do you mean? Does it stay at one when it's on the help Ooh, screen? This thing? transition? Yes. Okay, because it's like dichotomy. Yep, yeah, great. Yeah, Excellent. it's a code from dichotomy. Yep, okay. Um... Because, yeah, what I need to do is basically, uh, and what has the actual main menu? What has the main menu script? Which entity? Camera. Okay. Um, this sucks. So annoying. Oh, but it's all of the screen space UI, isn't it? No, control. Ah, oh, yes, because controls is in controls menu. Okay, yeah, it's just screen space UI. Okay, that's actually good. Because what I can do is in main menu. I'll just do that. Running out of time. Uh, and that should mean that. I can just do screen space UI here. And basically, let's do this. We'll just do, but again, I have to go recursively through all of them, which didn't seem to work last time, which is why I'm a bit sussed about it. Uh, set opacity of children could even set it to yeah a certain value but whatever uh, that doesn't quite work apparently Oh, that's right, yeah, because you need to get the color separately. Going quick here. So we'll just do set opacity of children. Uh, the main menu texts to 
the help screen transition. Why? Oh, no, sorry, one minus help screen transition. Right, beautiful. Okay, Ugh. build, build, build. Ah, oh, yeah, that's fine, I just ran it too long. Yeah, I know what, what renderer crash you guys are getting. It's not a big deal. And just restarting Hazel helps it. Um, it doesn't matter, like, now, but... Yeah, no, and yeah. Peter fixed it by uh, updating his bike. Oh, really? Well, yeah, okay. Did he? I don't think so. Oh, uh, no, 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 he didn't. Yeah, I don't think so. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so full screen here. Uh oh, it just crashed for me. I think. Right. Uh oh. What the heck happened? Well, bad news bears, that crashed. And it's not even here. Nice it is. Oh, come on, man. What? Why is it frozen? What the heck? I literally can't do anything. I can't even end it because access is denied. What the heck? This is the worst. I'm going to have to restart my computer. Sorry, stream. Okay, so that's actually a crash that happens every time. Uh, because events you get children. And why did that not happen in the editor, huh? And look, this can't show me my code. Yep. Okay, well, we might have to just not have that text work like it did, unfortunately. I don't know why that's happening, but it just doesn't seem to work. I'm just making sure there's no other weird scripts and stuff. And where's the camera? Oh, because this is null. Why? Did I not save it? Okay, maybe this will fix it. Okay, where's ldjam.com? Yep, that seems to have fixed it. Oh, that was a close one. All right, that's it. Ship, 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 ship. Um, that was a full screen true. I'll do a dist build, I guess. Which means this has to be unset. Ah, uh, Peter. Peter destroyed us. Peter. I fixed that in dev. What? Those, uh, those errors, I fixed those in dev. So. Well, what? Just, just change them to an if instead of an if dev or whatever. Ah. Uh, so it's just if instead of if dev, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and that's it? Otherwise, dist builds? Yep. Okay, good. I really hope so. Game is about delivering coffee in a stressful setting. <laughs> More to come.
uh, how do I make a game? <laughs> this stupid thing. Your editing profile is over here. Create new project. Uh, mono, I might have to do the, uh, dist thing. I just need to submit a URL, and even if it's empty, I think that's fine. Um, so I need to probably do setup as administrator. That's probably the problem. Windows, Windows, Windows. Can I just do that? What? What? Did you say something? Uh, no. Okay, that built good. Stupid thing. Submission is so stressful. Going through this, by the way, stream. Sorry, I wasn't showing you. Yes, jam. We're gonna make that link work in a minute. Right, <laughs> <where is it? laughs> uh, is that done? Publish. Well, the link's here. It's just empty because I need to upload the thing. Okay, done. Why is there only three three categories? Well, at least we have a submission page and stuff. We can keep editing it forever. Oh, do not rate me. <laughs> I checked the wrong one. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, we're up. We're up. That's submission hour. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, well, let's just submit it now. I mean, we've got like five minutes, but, you know, who's, no one's looking. Um, saving private, no, uh, captain, chino.exe, um, this is how we do things. We go to the desktop, we make a r underscore release folder, that has to be called that. Um, we put this here, then we go to hazelnut, oh, that's, that build's probably not gonna work, by the way. But we need, um, what do we need? We need resources, mono, that's probably it. Um, we need to delete a lot of stuff from resources, but yeah. Um, so in runtime layer application, how do we, how do we ship this game? Uh, that's off. That's good. Um, yeah, the only thing we need is, yeah, because obviously there's no command line argument. So the project path has to be LD53, we'll call it. <coughs> Basically, this is the little part that I forgot to include. Hopefully dist runs, by the way, but, you know, I guess we'll find out. Okay, so that's the new one. I really should just change the output file name. No time. Uh, okay, resources, we strip. I think we need fonts. Probably not all of them, but... Mm, this, this is gone. Renderer, do we need that? I think so. Scripts, we just need Hazel Script Core. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, everything else is elsewhere. Shaders we don't need. Templates we don't need. Textures we don't need. We just need the shader pack as well. So that's what the resources folder looks like. And then we have the actual game folder, which I pinned here, luckily, for quick access. Um, so let's copy that into here. We don't need all of it because <coughs> this is the raw assets as well. So we, I think we just need, I think, I don't think we need any of this, if I'm correct. We just need, and we don't need that. I think we need that. I don't know if we need the tree view, and we need the sound back. I think that's all we need. Wow, it's kind of big, 300 meg. It'll, com it'll compress well, though. It'll compress well, though, <laughs> probably. It's the environment map as well. It's kind of big, I yeah, think. Um, uh, and then in here, we don't need the cache or intermediates. I think we just need the hproj. This should hopefully be correct. Oh no, I should have done it full screen. <gasps> it worked. Oh my gosh, it just works. That is the best. 
done. But now I generated all these files that I'm going to have to manually strip, like logs. That's okay. And cache. That's it. We've got a build that kind of works, I guess. Config. Oh, yeah. You're getting, like, the max graphics in this release as well. So, like, screen space reflections on high. Like, this is going to be very bad for a lot of people. But we're going to ship it with, um, yeah. And fonts, like, I don't know, man. I don't think we need this. We need, like, probably one of the Open Sans fonts. Don't need Roboto. We don't need that. We do need that, I think. Okay. I think this is it. Did you get rid of uh, my font? Yeah. yeah. Wait, what do you mean your font? Well, the one on the main menu. No. What do you mean get got rid of? Like, change it to be the one on, on your list. Look. Oh, no. okay. 100 FPS in full screen on my rig. Yowch. Um, we might tweak some build settings later. Okay, good. That's it, guys. Um, sure. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll get you guys to test in a minute. Guess I'll make a folder for it. Private. It's always private. And there's no icon yet, but I'll... We just need to ship this out, because it's 11.59. <laughs> um, it's not going to upload in time, but... Oh, what's all that? This... Why is that there? Could be embedded textures, I don't know. No, but those files shouldn't be there. No. Oh, it's mono. I accidentally shipped all of mono. And Linux. I think <laughs> just lib is what I need. Is it, it yeah. Ugh. Cancel, cancel. Um I'm pretty sure I don't need these at all. But I should test it. Um, you don't, I know you don't need Linux, so you probably should use it I'm putting it into a test directory because it will create files. Look, there's still, there's lots of stuff here. Oh, can I just take the ones from Dichotomy, actually? Did you, you haven't updated them recently, have you? Uh, not the window, well... Because, it's just because Dichotomy is ready to go. Yeah. Um, I need to find that, it, though. It works. Okay. Where's the dichotomy? I deleted all my dichotomies, though. So did I. I have one on my desktop ready to go. <laughs> Always. Yeah. That sucks. Them, We've, already We've already submitted. We've already submitted. Yeah. It's just there's no game now. That's fine, though. <laughs> we spent three, three days making all I'm this. downloading dichotomy so I can ship this game. Look at that recent update, 39 days. <coughs> Active development. Okay, I'm gonna try with this mono library and hopefully it will just work. Good. Uh yeah, it seems to. Done. Good enough for me. We got we we got a few frames rendering, so that's good. Uh alright, cool, done. Um, so I just need to make sure that that's now in here as well. Uh, and then this is what we compress. I'm just trying to reduce the file size for you guys. I could have shipped this like a while ago. There's still some weird stuff in there though. It should be just out. But this was a lot, this compressed a lot faster, so... I'm guessing it's okay. I'm ready to upload, man. T 200 meg? Ugh. No other textures. No, it's... I. Uh, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's the environment map. It's like uh, half of that. Uh, we probably could have just done dynamic sky. Maybe there should be like a peasant edition that's like for lower <laughs> level well, I mean, platforms. Considering what our scene looked like, I don't think we needed a 4K texture. It's uploading, guys. Because it's 4K for each side, right, of the cube. Oh yeah, we should have we should have massively reduced the environment map. Yeah. Like yeah. resolution. Is it 4K for each side of the cube? Yeah. Yep. Oh, it might be... No, it's 2K by default, I think. I don't think it's 4K by default. That would be crazy. But yeah, it's and it's uncompressed, so it's quite big. All right. Um, but yeah, the link is just... I'll send the link into let them dare chat. Yeah, I can make 
Will you release the code also? Uh, probably not. Uh, maybe for patrons. It'll be like, you know, that old thing. The, like the rest. All the like all the previous games, yeah. Because you need Hazel anyway, obviously, for it. Well, no, not to play the game, but yeah, if you want to edit it and stuff. And build it, you need Hazel. So, I'll probably... Yeah, so patreon.com slash the channel, good place to plug this. You guys should go there and uh, help support this struggle of a life of making your own game engine. <laughs> yeah, Australian internet, but also I'm streaming, so it's my upload speeds, obviously, and Tim's streaming. That's it. Um, can you try and download it, Peter, via the link? Uh, oh, wait, I have to click save. Yeah. And we have no art, so we're going to start making the cover image and everything, but I've hit save now. I'm on it. Really? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, it's a draft. Ah, oh, whoops. Okay, check now. Yep, done. I guess I should try downloading it. Myself. Getting the downloads up. Damn, two minutes to download. <laughs> yeah, the bandwidth is saturated. <laughs> Tell me the good news, Peter. I I can't yet because it's not done. <laughs> Yeah, Tim's playing with audio. <laughs> I'm watching your live stream as well, Peter. Oh, you're watching mine. <laughs> At least where I am right now. Oh, you're extracting, are you? <coughs> Did this download? Where the heck is it? Oh, here it is. Let me extract all. Yeah, there's all these files we don't need, man. I don't get it, though. I copied mono. Guys, I'm going to do another release very soon that's going to just not have half of this stuff. I don't know what happened. It's got to be in the mono directory, right? <laughs> that's funny. Where are all the... Oh, are there hidden files here? Did I pull an absolute noob move? I think I may have just... I think they were all hidden files that I pushed out oh good it's working for you yep. well that's it done it works guys okay guys i've probably shipped it with a lot of hidden files <laughs> hopefully not like you know my credit card details but who knows so let me just quickly uh redo it did that just there's some like flickering happening when you like get the end of the bank ah whatever it works as long as it doesn't... Yeah, I saw that. I don't know why. As long as it doesn't crash, though. It might just be that you... Uh, you oh, yeah. I saw that. But that didn't used to happen. Can you hit Control f 3 Like, what's your frame rate and I stuff? I it happen a lot in the runtime. Ah. Oh. It might be because it's multi-threaded. And there's, like... Possibly. Yeah, that kind of sucks. There's quite a lot of flickering. Well, it's okay. I can fix I'm that. Oh, wow, that dropped to 26 FPS. Huh. Weird. <coughs> oh, yeah. No, that's probably just one long frame when it does the chunk. So it's just for one frame. It's so flickery, though. I'm looking at your screen. Why? Why? It wasn't before at all. I, sp I spent a long time testing the runtime. Like, with this game, I mean. It can't be the mono, though. No. What the heck happened? That's so sad. I hate I'm stuff. Well, yeah. It doesn't run on my computer. Yeah, get a better computer. <laughs> oh, I, I committed a dot .git. I committed the dot .git folder. Ooh. Ooh. 
Yeah, that's so annoying. But it's okay, I'll push another one out in a minute. I don't understand. I did show hidden files. Where are they, huh? They're not here. Oh, it's in here. Lol. Okay, pushing a new one. I'll be pushing new ones all day, basically. But, yeah. Yes. Yes. So it's about half the size. It's 157 mag now. It's more like it. What? Yeah, I don't know what you guys did with the restarting, but I'll have to investigate that. Well, it was working fine. Alright. Yeah. Um, okay, it doesn't actually have the anything because you have six points. Doesn't have what? Uh, no, it just has got capture. Oh, right, yeah. And gold, but it's fine. What's it called, Peter? When you finish... A Try and uplo finish upload game. your GPU drivers, guys, if it doesn't work. And if it still doesn't work, then we'll, we're just going to iron out bugs over the next week. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, just... Uh, uh, yeah. Peter, can you play the game twice in a row? Uh, so finish a level and then play it again, because for me it crashed. Is there any version of it? It crashed for you? Yeah. About to be. Yeah, it Not crashed for Tim crash for some reason. The uh, thing is, though, like, before I play again, I'm going to download my latest graphics card. Because I know I'm not going to use it. Uh, Alright, well, I'll just Um, okay, I've updated it. I've updated it, just, all I've done is just the mono. It doesn't have mono yeah. thingies. Flickering. Log full of Vulcan errors, really? Can you tell me which Vulcan errors? Oh, I probably shipped, shipped with validation on. Uh-oh. Does that mean it's not going to run if you don't have Vulcan SDK installed? I don't know about that, but yeah, I accidentally shipped okay. with. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm able to run it twice in a row, like by beating the level. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um. So, Tim, did you have to like beat it twice? No, no, I, I beat it once and when I play, went to play the second. Maybe it's good that I shipped with Vulcan validation. Uh, oh no. Okay, yeah. pe people don't. Some people don't have Vulcan SDK installed in the store runs. Well, then who cares? Well, no, Vulcan. I mean, Vulcan's gonna. So that's gonna slow down the CPU, though, having all this validation. Oh, I'm building Hazelnut, that's why that didn't work. But yeah, it seems to be playing fine for me, except for the. The flickering. Thing. I'm really not happy with the flickering, because it shouldn't be flickering. <sighs> My camera just spins when I start the game. Do you have a controller connected? Because sometimes that happens to me. If not, then that sucks. But yeah, there's a bunch of like Vulcan validation. Although that, that thing still that doesn't matter. Uh, oh, it just, yeah, of course. It just disables validation if you don't have it or whatever. Yeah. Some people don't have flickering. For one person, it just screens. Uh, uh, it the screen spins. Um, alt tab doesn't work for some people. Does alt tab work for you guys? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. I don't know. That's su such as life. You know, we don't have a a week to do or a month to do QA <laughs> for this, so it's just out. Uh, let me, I guess, upload it. So this is without validation. I guess I'll try and run it. I can't believe I shipped it with git though. With git and dot vs. Nice. Oh, well, because they were hidden, man. I feel like, you know what should happen? When you compress something, when you add something to a zip archive, it should be like, hey man, you have hidden files here. Are you sure? <laughs> like, include hidden files? Exclude? That would be nice. I have hidden items. Well, that's good. Is it, oh, is it in here? 
I guess I'll play through it. Oh no. Not the enemies. Uh, I miss my sprint feature. No, I don't know. I kind of like this game, to be honest. It's kind of it's kind of cool. And I like the graphics a lot. Of course, it could be improved, but like, you know, we made this very quickly. I like the... That's pretty dope. Oh, the sniper. Do the guns work differently? Like this style? Oh, this my sniper's upside down. Nah, this is pretty dope. Like, I won't lie, I like it. Does all tab work? Yes, for me, yes. As you can see, it the screen looks black for a bit, but that's just on stream. Like in real life, it's it's instant. A shotgun. Assault rifle. I don't like the weapons you don't like swap, you just consume them. Yeah. It'd be great if you could stop. Oh, by the way, I don't think it's flickering for me. Unless I just haven't noticed. So it's, it sometimes flickers. But I just, I don't know how, I don't know if it would be a driver thing, because it doesn't flicker in the editor, does it? Yeah, does it flicker in the editor? I like the shotgun, it's pretty powerful. I like the SpongeBob footstep sound effect, yeah. It what? Yeah, so that's why I'm, I think it might be a, like some kind of runtime race condition. Wait, am I dead? No, I guess I got coffee. I might actually complete this game. No, you know what? You know what would be cool if there was an achievement for um <coughs> being able to complete the game without aiming, like without using right mouse button. It'd be like a hip fire only thing. I mean, this is still running pretty well for me, over 100 FPS, and I'm been playing for a while, which is good. The shotgun is great. It's like an instant kill. Oh. So I have to, oh wait, how do I drop the coffee? Is that, yeah, but that's not, that is never told to you. Oh, that's it, I did it. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. You have to go to the controls, drop item Q. And I guess you have to kind of think about that. But yeah, no, it works guys. A quit would be good. Yeah, I think I'll spend the rest of the week maybe polishing it because I don't have that much work I have to put out a video on Friday mm. um, but aside from that I'm pretty free I think so I might just polish this like within limits because I think you're allowed to do stuff yeah. you're allowed to do yeah, some stuff <laughs> well fix yeah bugs. fix bugs but polishing I don't know it's just I guess I probably should make a I probably should make another Mode. Like another, no, another edition that's like, you know, the jam submission versus just like, I wanted to improve the game, so yeah. it would be better yeah, for everyone. Be, yeah. No flicker from me on a 1080. I have a feeling, I don't think that the flicker is GPU at all. Like, I don't think, I think it, it's just something to do with, um, I feel like it's something to do with the way that, really like, like I just think that the render thread might get the wrong set of entities submitted one frame when they change due to something. But yeah. Yeah, strafing's fast. It's like that perk in Call of Duty. Stalker or whatever, where you can, yeah. Control F3 is to get that. <coughs> I'm getting a flicker, but only every 15 seconds. It's probably when you go to a different chunk. By the way, you have to press Alt F4 to close. Um, and it should close instantly like, like it did here. Again, the black screen is just on stream. Game doesn't come up for me. Yeah, it'll just crash without anything. You can look at the logs. So inside um, the directory. Uh, let me just quickly bring this up. Inside the directory. 
So this is what the game looks like, obviously, when you get it. Inside the directory, there's a logs uh, folder after you run it, and that might have an information in it. In fact, we have a lot here. We should probably disable it. Um, the, the recoil from the is so hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then here's... I kind of like the gun sound effect. It's, like, not bad. Yeah, and then you can see this is the hazel little look. 13,000. <coughs> I haven't played it played it with headphones, unfortunately, so that's why. I guess I should get like a nice screenshot or something, right? The missing code points shouldn't really be a problem. That's just fonts. It couldn't load all glyphs or whatever because those fonts just don't have them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm getting the flickering in the runtime. That's good. Cause if, yeah, because if I wasn't, like that would be kind of not the best. See, I can't even get the screenshot. It's weird. It's like it. It doesn't let me screenshot. I wonder why, because I'm just, I should be just be running this borderless full screen, or whatever. Um, but it's, oh, that worked. Alt worked. Oh, that's, that's a good screenshot. It's like the coffee is spilling out, because I'm getting shot. Um, yeah. Sixty-two FPS at four K, yeah. Four K is kind of heavy because it's GPU bound as well, especially with max settings. Because it's got like screen space reflections on full and whatever. So, <coughs> yeah. All right. Um, I guess I probably should just pay have pasted in the whole thing. That looks kind of cool. This is gonna be the first. I don't even know the resolution or whatever for, uh, you know. Yeah, everything's up. It's just, uh, I'm, it just doesn't have any screenshots, but, like, the links, uh, you can get there everywhere. You can get everywhere. <coughs> I'm gonna upload some images everywhere now. It just, everything is bad about it. I have a cover image finally. And then can I upload just a normal image, please, Mike? No. <laughs> it's, you have to like do some weird weirdo stuff here, don't you? Upload image link above. Do you mean the one below oh, here? Hey. Oh nice, it put it right in the middle of my sentence. it first, huh? That's not, that's a good screenshot for just hitting 
friend's crane. <laughs> Can you create a Captain Chino channel on Discord? Yes. Good idea. Oh, and I can put a coffee emoji. Perfect. Better to do that, I have to like send someone a coffee in chat. So I can copy it, I think. Oh, what? I can't seem to create a channel with emoji anymore. Or do I have to edit it later? The name. Or does it have to be? I think it has to. I think it can't be a Discord emoji. It has to be like a UTF-8. Whatever thing. And it's called hot yeah. beverage. Yeah, I found it. All right, it should be public for you guys. One. So in stu under studio trainer, yeah, yeah, people are already posting that. All right, thanks, uh, Maddie, for posting that. Oh, we'll take a look at it. Oh, that's fine. That's a uh, on shutdown crash. Those don't count. So I'll send the lot of there. Can I? It'd be nice if I could pin stuff. Hey YouTube, can you do that? No pinning. It'd be nice if I could pin. Oh, I can pin. Oh, that's excellent. Thank you YouTube. That's already better than. Uh, <coughs> and I can even. I can't edit the message, but. Uh, that's great that I can just so and then um, I'll just I'm crafting something <coughs> Okay, it's a thing. The player model. Well, it, no, nah, I, I don't know. I've grown. It's grown on me. <laughs> it like, look, this is a nice shot. Like, well, it's got a style, you but know? it's just it's not executed well. This is nice. This was like, uh, caught myself in the mirror this morning, <laughs> looking, <laughs> looking good. <laughs> I, I really like those guys. They're pretty cute. Yeah, I like them as well. I'm glad for this screenshot, it's holding it properly. <laughs> yeah, the sniper rifle. Wait, did I call it saving private? No, saving Captain Chino. Oh, I called it saving Captain, Captain Coffee, Coffee, and that's the link as well. <laughs> oh well. I thought you knew that. I <coughs> you know you why, guys? That. It's because I'm tired. I thought you intentionally. Cause Can you I update the URL here? Or is that going to be like. I, I think I can. I don't think that's a problem. Done. Do it a little bit before this. <coughs> Alright, we've got a rating on Ludum there. I guess I need to replace this now. And I unfortunately can't even see the whole message, so that's rip. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> I take back everything I said. You can probably just unpin it. Oh, look. Yeah, but can I just see the full message, man? I guess I could go to the links and kind of reconstruct it that way. But, like, it's...
probably not really supposed to have two of these. Like it, it didn't tries think to just squeeze everything <laughs> out of the lid. <laughs> oh my emoji. Wait, did it delete my emoji? No. Good, I like that emoji. I'll put two of them in. I'm spamming my own chat. It'd be funny if it just spams me. Okay, links are updated. <laughs> if you press escape, the game gets stuck. Huh. Don't press escape then. <laughs> I don't know, it should just unlock the cam- like unlock the mouse if you press escape. So does that not work in the runtime? <laughs> You can't be tired, it's time to work on the day one patch. Yeah. The um day one patch is already the out. facts of being in the industry. <coughs> day zero patch. Something on Discord. Oh you posted your camera spinning on Discord. Sweet. Let's watch it. I'm watching it. You don't have to believe me. It's not downloading for me that video, so oh, twenty seconds. Ah, uh, this. And you definitely don't have a controller connected. You know, sometimes I think my games are broken, but then I remember I have like a graphic graphics tablet connected, and sometimes I... Oh, look, it's, he's already answered it. it nice. He says no. Weird. Game crashes immediately. Yes. And we'll do that sometimes. Alright, well... Yeah, see, I don't know. I, I hate this whole concept of a game jam. Because it's kind of like... You're tired, now you have to provide support. <laughs> like, you transition very quickly from making the... Oh, Peter's still here. Yeah. You transition from making the game to being like, now let's do some customer support. And like, kind of don't want to. No, but no, this is the real reason I, I brought this up, was because you're tired, right, after the game jam. And you want to go to sleep, and, or you want to just take a break. But then it's like... But people are playing my game now because I've submitted it and they're probably rating it as well. Because some absolute, like, I don't You're even right know what to call them. No, just like some, like some people, for some reason, think it's a good idea to transition from making a game for three days immediately to playing people's games. Yeah. I don't get that. There should be and the thing a is submission and then 24 hours after submission, Rating starts. The thing is, though, like anybody who submits a rating has to be one of those people who just spent the last three Ex days. That's the problem, man. That's the problem. So if you've been up for like three days developing a game, and now you kind of have to. There's probably a lot of noise in the background because it's the ambience. Oh, it's the game still running. Oh, sweet, it didn't even crash. Because it actually, if you feel tab, it pauses. By the way, that's how you pause. <coughs> um, if you can. Yeah, you're basically like, you, you've you been up for three days and now you're rating games. Like, I don't know about you, but I would just be angry at all of them. Yeah. Yeah, Peter agrees. I'm angry and I'll press this and I'm Yeah. So, and there's no icon. This was a rough release. But it works, actually, for people. So it's definitely smoother than some releases we've done, I think. Oh, yeah. <sighs> if you open the controls and press enter, they disappear. Oh, well. Get what you get. <laughs> Press enter. Getting 130 FPS on 1080p, 37 laptop, better than I expected. Yeah, that's nice, actually. You're getting better than me. But I'm not playing it at 1080, I'm playing it at 256. Because it's GPU bound, that's the thing. So, the higher your resolution, because I've got Quad HD, like it runs at about 100 FPS on my 3080 yeah. desktop. Oh, I should play it on the QA PC. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just gonna play it on the... Oh, I've still got coffee. What the heck? I didn't even finish my coffee. Hopefully it's still good. Eh. Tastes weird. Yeah. <laughs> I did get an extra shot in it though, so I don't... It could be just the... Um, I'm 
I'm thinking tomorrow or early later today when I wake up, I'm gonna have a go at making like a mix build of it. Ah, uh, speaking of which, Ubuntu just booted for me. I forgot that's the default option now. <laughs> um, actually, hang on. Emily's ship is a. Oh yeah, Emily's game. Yeah, we could play Emily's. Do you have a link? Yeah, oh, I play. but I don't know what the link is. Wait, you have a link, but you don't know <laughs> what the link is. Feet is tired. No, I don't. I don't have a link. Ah, uh, because I asked, do you have a link, and you're like, yeah, but I don't know what the link is. Oh, I think you just meant yeah, as in like a short, you know, just like something you just have to say. Yeah, one hand. sure. Yeah, Video like speech. you just said, yeah, sure. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? She just made a video on it, on like how to make a game. So shortly there's a little video. What's this thing? Yeah, there is. Yeah, get with it. Where's the video on how you make the game? Okay, wait. Oh, it, yeah. Is it okay, Linux okay, only? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll send them. Is it Linux only? We're about the, to find the game? Uh, it was developed on it. It might be Linux only. Bro. So one of the games Actually, that was no. shipped in this Latin Dare using Hazel you is can, Linux you only. You just paste the oh, game. Oh, of course, because the runtime. Yeah. You just no, just well, yeah, but you need the you need to tell the binary to obviously read the the right um like as in her bi well her binary wouldn't work anyway so it wouldn't matter but like what what I mean yeah. is your binary for this game wouldn't run that game but you could yeah. obviously make it work in like five minutes yeah I might I might send her like ask her to send me a link to the GitHub so I can do a Linux build for it. wondering if the project is straight up open source and there is a GitHub. Well, you don't need it. Oh, or do you well, want to put, you, do, you need it for the asset it, registry to know which UID to launch, yeah. I think. But that's it. Why else would you need it? All the project resources are compatible with any OS or platform. I need to make a launch with graphic settings because some peasants have started them. Oh, I I don't think she stripped her zip file of mono or stuff like that. Oh yeah. It's 400 meg. Damn. <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm about to run it on the QA machine. Will it work? Will my mount? Will my camera spin? And will it perform decently? Thing is, though, I think it will because you're on Windows, right? 60 FPS. Oh, but VSync is on everyone. So. No, how are you getting 120 frames per second? I'm 144 hertz. Uh, wait, really? Yeah, it's VSync's on. I shipped with VSync because I don't want to use too much. Where's your mouse gone? Did you take your mouse? <laughs> no! <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Why does Control Shift T not work for you? What's the VA? Yeah. No, no, no. Well, I alt tab to the right window. It's alt shift O to open a file. Is that what you're trying to do? Alt. Wait, alt shift O. <laughs> Tim's like, yes. The first time <laughs> your keyboard. Where's the alt key? <laughs> v sync. Yeah, true. I, did, I, I, I didn't. I could have. I, I didn't know that's what you were checking. Wait. All right. Yeah, I'm like 50 more seconds. That's a lot. But look, GPU wait to 12 milliseconds. Yeah, 60 FPS on the Steam average TV, though, so um, it's good enough for me. Oh, that's actually very shiny. The, uh, the compass. Glass? The compass. Oh, the compass. Split screen is happening as well. Oh, it's a Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, there's a reflection. Oh, that's clever. Oh, it feels kind of. 
feels far between the two most wonderful ads I made. But it just it didn't feel like it was running at fifteen hundred. Yeah. Yeah. You saw we had it bad. Apparently Emily crashed sixty seven times. Yeah, I heard about that. Holy shit. I blame Linux. I, I heard most of it was related to physics too. Really? Did, did she tell you to that? Yeah. That's why. Uh, she didn't mention something about physics. Yeah. Yeah, this works. I don't believe it. <laughs> um, alright. So, that's it, I think, guys. Do you want to grab lunch, Tim, or are you going to head off? Yeah, yeah, I'll get some. Okay. Well, Tim and I are going to have our celebratory burrito from this Mexican place that we have after every London day. <laughs> don't know we've how it gone, started. We've but done <coughs> two London days and we've gone to two different burrito places. Yeah, but that's only because that one was closed. Yeah. Speaking of which, it might be closed. But in that case, I guess, bond me. No, it might be open for right. lunch. Um, yeah. gonna head out here. They used to be open for lunch. Now they changed the dinner on there, I think, except for weekends. But I'll check. Well, that Korean place is open. Ah, oh, true. You don't want to bum me. Ah, uh, no, we can. I don't want to Oh, it's open. It's open. Sweet. The burrito place All is right. open, everyone. Alright, um... Uh, Emu doing next run there as well. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what we see. <coughs> um, what was I going to say? Yeah, guys, I'm gonna, like, I think I'll keep working a bit later today, because since I did sleep at night, like, well, for four hours, but still, probably even less than four hours by the time I fell asleep, but, um, I'm probably, I guess I'll keep streaming when I come back after lunch, maybe. I, we'll see what happens, though. I need to, like, you know, contact my family and see, like, if they need me or something. <laughs> but if they don't need me, then I'm, I'm all yours, stream, and I'm gonna add a launcher to this game, and... Maybe try and fix the flickering, uh, and add add a launcher with different with the different tiering options that we have in Hazel, so that you guys can like set your resolution lower or turn off screen space reflections or turn the quality to low or whatever, um, so that you can get it to perform better. So that is um, yeah. But thank thank you guys for being with us on the journey. I to be honest, I before I left uh, last night to go home at like two a.m. and sleep, I did um. I did not think we would get here. Like, I really did not see it coming together like this. Um, but, you know, it came together rather quickly at the end. Obviously, I had time to do both sound effects and add the screen space kind of text rendering as well this morning. So I think that was good because I was able to get some sleep. Then I just got up at like 6.30 a.m. was my alarm. And then I got a nice, nice strong coffee. I was at the cafe at like exactly 7 a.m. as they opened i looked at my, I, I walked in i looked at my clock at my watch and it was like 7 a.m in like 40 seconds or something <laughs> just walking in right on time getting the coffee and um uh, and that gave me the kind of boost to just quickly do all of that last minute engine stuff um so yeah what is the best way to send a donation that doesn't take a bunch from you i would say probably uh it's tough Patreon takes 5% because I'm on the original plan. Um, yeah, you want to buy me lunch. Um, I think, I don't know. Yeah, I actually don't have an answer to that. Yeah, just may you can, maybe you can just become a patron and get access to Hazel and play around with it. That's, that would be a win-win as well for you possibly. And you can always cancel after one month if you don't want to keep going. Um, all right, guys. I might actually, one other thing, I'll plug this as well. I recently introduced a new tier on Patreon, which is the $5 per month tier. So for 10 bucks, you get access to Hazel. Uh, for $25, you get access. It's just a, a, a bigger tier for those who want to support more. But you basically get um, <coughs> access to uh, all of the games we've made and all of the assets. Um, and also we do monthly. We've started doing them again as of last month. We did one. We do partner hangouts. So basically, it's like a it's like a, a voice channel, a video voice channel on Discord. Actually, we did it as a stage last time. Um, and then you guys can, like, we can all talk and ask questions and with, like, the whole team for, like, an hour or an hour and a half or whatever. So uh, that's the $25 tier. And then the $5 tier, which is uh, new, as in it's always been around, but 
I've started doing more things for it now. So I do like a weekly deep dive technical video. I've only done one so far, but I'm going to do them weekly. That's the plan. So I'm, I might actually break down this journey in detail because like I'll, I'll, I'll probably still make a video just public for YouTube, but obviously like, you know, YouTube, like it's good to make 15, 20 minute videos that are a bit edited and a bit to the point and to try and maximize engagement. And it's not really good for like really long form chill videos. So that's why I've started doing them on Patreon. So like, it's just like, a cup, a cup, it can be like a couple hours of me just talking and being like, this was blah, 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 blah. It was almost like a live stream. So if you're interested in that, patreon.com slash the channel, um, the money f from there goes to support like, you know, Tim and Peter, obviously, because they're employees, but, um, you know, this office space and basically it gets kind of reinvested in the game engine. So if you want to see Hazel succeed and have more features, or you just want to support the project, then patreon.com slash the channel. Thank you guys for being around what happens if we cancel a ten dollar subscription you use yes you do lose access but you still have it for a month so it works like netflix it works like netflix or any other streaming service you still you can basically i'm pretty sure you can as long as you sign up and then go to git.hazelengine.com to activate your because it's automatic you just need to connect your github and patreon accounts like together and then you'll get an invite on github you won't be removed until the 30 days passes so that should work <laughs> and i mean if it doesn't for whatever reason just reach out to me all right, thank you guys. Um, probably make a few... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like this game, to be honest. I say this after every Let Em Dare, but I'm hoping that I will have time and the desire to work on it a little bit and maybe just make it something a bit more fun. Um, and I don't know. Like, there's a lot of... I think there's a lot of potential. I like the way... I just like the graphics as well, the way the hex tiles look. Uh, it could even be a different game, but yeah, I think I might work on it. So I might be back in a, in a couple hours, going to have a little bit of a break. And then I'm going to, as I mentioned, going to start working on like the launcher and do all of that stuff. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the game that it's pinned up there. I'll add it to the first line of the description of this VOD as well. Um, but yeah, I was a good Ludum Dare, I think. And I'm quite happy with the game. All right. See you guys. Love you all. Thank you for watching. I never know when this stupid stream ends. Where's the stop button? <laughs>